A. 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 Test. 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 One, two, one, two. Can you guys hear me? Ah! Uh, hello, everybody! It is time for our weekly Dungan Rampers. Um, hi guys, what's up? I love Saturdays because I get to play Dungan Rampa. Today we're doing Chapter Three. Um, I'll do a quick recap. What happened last week? We did the Chapter Two trial. Uh, spoilers. Ryoma died. I give you enough time to click out if that was a spoiler. Uh, Ryoma died. He got murdered. And then we found out who did it, who done did it? Kirumi. Because this game hates women. So Kirumi ended up doing it. And we found out that the reason why she did it was because she is basically the, 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 the de facto prime minister of Japan. So she had to do it for her people. Which honestly, I thought was kind of, kind of a mid excuse. I don't know. I, I, I thought it'd be more interesting if they made Kan uh, Kaide like be the one to be like, yeah, you need to kill everyone. I think that would have been fun, and I would have appreciated that a little bit more than her just being like prime minister. But whatever, whatever. Yeah, and I got spoiled by the McDonald's meme. You guys, you guys. I said this on the other streams. So I'll say this now on the Dongan Rompa stream. I got spoiled. I I don't know if this person dies this chapter or next chapter. But I know someone dies, and like I know who dies. At least, like at least, like they will die eventually, because I saw them dead. And it was because of the stupid grimace meme, the stupid freaking grimace meme, you guys. It was like, oh, Danganronpa got grimaced, and 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 the first three deaths were from Danganronpa one and two, and I already know who dies in them because I played them. But then, but then there was one from three, and I'm like, well, she's still alive where I'm at, <laughs> so. My theory involving her. Do you guys want? I feel bad telling you guys a spoiler if you haven't seen it yet. Like if you haven't like played the game yet. Like if you're also playing this blind. Like I don't want to tell you guys who it was, but I, I did see that someone died that is still alive where we are, and it wasn't like a execution murder. So I know that they they like they get like someone kills them. So I, I'll keep that a secret for now. But I do know, I don't know if it's this death or the next death, but I do have like a, it's going to be one of them. Yeah, I know it sucks to see spoilers, but I also understand that the game is six years old. So like, I can't be too mad about it. I did end up blacklisting the words like Danganronpa on Twitter so I can not see um, memes or, or like the memes that might spoil me, at least until after I finish the franchise. And then you guys, I'm so upset. I'm so upset about co about Rain Code. I was so excited to play it. I was like yesterday. I was like, "Ooh, I pre-ordered this shit. I'm gonna play the. I'm gonna play it all weekend. Like aside from like whenever I stream." And then like I checked Amazon because like it hadn't been like it didn't say like out for delivery, because originally it said it's coming out June 30th. And like I looked yesterday and like it just like wasn't out for delivery. And I'm like, "Huh, that's weird." And then I go and I look and it says like, "Oh, ex it's it's now you're gonna get it on the 17th." 17th the 17th all because i pre-ordered the limited edition and i couldn't even buy the regular edition because like it said out of stock and like i wanted a physical like i'm not gonna like i want the i want the limited edition it comes with a plushie so yeah i have to wait till the 17th to play like i would i would buy the digital version and just play that but like i feel bad i already spent like x amount on limited version i don't want to spend like another 60 dollars Getting the digital version when I know I know the physical is coming. It's just coming in 20 days. But I want to play it. I want to play it. I want to play it so badly. I'm so mad. Why did it get delayed? I want it. Oh, uh, there was a problem distributing the plushies. Oh, I got the I got the limited because I wanted the plushie. Because I love the Shinigami. I'm so sad. Also, also, um, I was at round one. If you don't know that, it's like a Japanese arcade game. Um, and like, I was looking at the prizes. I'm with my brother and my nephew. And like, dead ass, uh, like, we're looking at the prizes. And I look at a wall. And you guys, you guys, they had Monokuma onesies as a prize that you can win. 
at round one. I was like, what? Monokuma? What what are you doing here? <laughs> like, why are you why are you following me? Like, I, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to play some rhythm games and I'm I'm getting assaulted by Danganronpa. Uh, like, and it was from um it was from um 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 from Goodbye Despair. So the second game is that Goodbye is, is Goodbye Despair the second game? Um, it was from the second game because I saw Monami on it as well. And I'm like, damn, they have something from a ten year old game. That's wild. But yeah, that happened. I'm just, I'm so sad about uh, Raincoat. I really want to play it, but now I have to wait. Cause guys, it's just like it's so financially irresponsible for me to just buy the digital version right now, so I could play it now. Like I know it's financially irresponsible, but I want. It. But I also just spent so much money on Minori. Yeah, you guys. Um, so Project Sakai, you know, the love of my life, the other game I love to play. I like playing off stream a lot, especially. Um. Yeah, I did the gacha polls in the server. So some of you guys saw me saw me doing the polls uh, in the server. Oh uh, yeah, join the Discord if you're not already in it. Um, yeah, that hurt. Minori hurt me. Mi Minori, Minori gave me a lot of pain, a lot of pain and suffering, as she always does. I give her nothing but love and adoration, and she gives me nothing but pain and and suffering in return. But I still I still adore her. But um, yeah, we spent some money. I got this the new Shiho three times. Got the new Kai day or Kana day three uh, two times. Got a lot of other characters that aren't on the banner, but it's fine. We got Minori at the end, and then I just bought Enna because you know we already had Pity, so might as well. <sighs> gotcha is more difficult than uh, Genshin's. It really is. I guess it's Gotcha. It is what it is. You got two Shihos. I mean, like the, Sh the Shiho card's nice, and it did give me a way to uh, mastery five my Minori card. It just hurts. When you just want your Minori card. <laughs> All I want. But then I read the event earlier today. I was doing that. And it was really cute. I, re I really enjoy it. Like, if anyone reads that event and still hates Minori, like, what's wrong with you? Why do you hate happy people? She's just a happy girl with a little bit of extra, extra, extrovertism who adopts every introvert in sight. And then just treats them with love and respect. And she just tells Kai, uh, Kanade that she wants to see her smile. And Kanade's like, whoa, no one's ever told me that before. And like falls in love. It's so cute. We love it. We stand it. Also, I'm holding a Minakuma right now. I'm I'm holding him. He is he is keeping me warm. He is uh he is he is he is uh my my, my cuddle buddy while I play through this chapter. I'm I'm scared. If I if, if who I know, if who I know dies this chapter. Well then, I, I'll, I'll kind of be glad because that way, like, there's n there's no more spoilers going forward, and I can just enjoy it to the fullest. Cause I don't know who killed the person who dies next, but I just know that someone dies that's not dead. So, although my theory did get ruined, cause I had a specific theory involving this character, and now it's not possible. But let's start. I think I've stalled for a, a little bit, a little bit too much. Load game. Oh, we're also gonna be playing slots today. Because you know how it is. Oh god, these. Oh, whoa! What you're seeing now is live footage whoa, of the sky whoa, whoa. from our camera at the scene. What? What? What's going on? You can clearly see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. W what? This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. Zhongli got mad, you guys. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. We've just been notified that the government has... It does sound like Zhongli's VA. Emergency. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm oh my and God, evacuate what's going to their on? nearest shelter. Like, 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 what's going on? Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Oh. <gasps> Transfer student from beyond the great. What? What does that mean? Wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? What is what does transfer student from beyond the grave mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Wait, no, tell wait, what does that mean? Is someone coming? Are we getting a transfer kid? 
Are, uh, is someone coming back from the dead? Kaide? <laughs> Kaide? Kaide, are you coming back? Baby, are you coming back? It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the th Oh! <gasps> oh my god, I completely forgot that happened. Maki was outed as the ultimate assassin and not the ultimate child caregiver. Completely forgot about that. And awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Oh, whoa. Come on, man. What, what the heck is this? Mm. It's like weapon warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Maki is the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the motive video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of uh at the beginning of the video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her motive video. And because you saw that, mm -hmm. huh? I knew the whole time. Given my position, I'd obviously know before any of you, right? Huh? Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lot. Why can't Kokichi die? Why couldn't the spoiler that I saw be that Kokichi died? <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. Y yeah, you could probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? No, I don't want him to be the killer. I want him to get killed. Listen, listen, you guys, listen, listen, listen. I don't want him to have the satisfaction of talking through a trial. I want him to die before a trial. And we can go through a whole trial without him. That That is what I want right now. Maki's so hot right now. I know. Hmm. Oh, Cookie. Oh, I don't like him. But why ever did she lie about the ultimate child caregiver? Because assassins hide to do all their killings. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She had so many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Geez, robots can't understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude. <laughs> Please take back what you just said. I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please give me data. Please. Right? Jaya, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you, thank you. 16 months. Gamer, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you. Uh, try to kill you like she tried to do to me. I think Kokichi deserved it. I don't think Kibo would deserve it. <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her, but what about next time? Says so. Best let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer. That is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. <sighs> I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? But, but... Got it. I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Oh, wait! Ah, Panda Cat, thank you so much for the Prime sub! Thank you! You only get one of those a month! Thank you so much for using it on me the last four months! Thank you! Uh, wait! You don't have to take it that far! It's not like she's been trying to kill us! Sneak attack! A sneak attack is the way to go! We have to strike before she does! Hit her head from behind! Um... Sneak attack? Strike before she does? Shouldn't a keto master be saying those things? It'll be okay... If that's the case, then Atua and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom poms out of her mouth. Wow! <laughs> that's kind of peppy. That kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Up, uh, Buzzles. <clears throat> owa owa. Owa owa. Oh, 
Owa a owa a a a a a wa ba. Oh, you want school girl model? That's appropriate for the for the stream, eh? Oh, dip 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 dip. Down here, I don't want to cover Puichi or Puichi. Yeah. Ultimate assassin, my ass, always messing around. Huh? Kaito, d don't do anything stupid. Okay. <laughs> Let's leave everything to Kaito. You get it? Gonta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, Gonta. Come on, man. Hey, Gonta. Like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so is. Oh God, he's back. Well, well. Oh, I don't see. I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. Ah! Stay back. Everyone, get behind Gonta. Himiko, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. Be quiet. I just said I didn't need your usual reactions. It's almost halftime, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. What? Now then. And since you guys overcame uh, the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Hey. I said I figured I'd give you guys a wonderful surprise. Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming. That's strange. Oh, they're just a little late. They're lagging behind. Oh, there's only three of them now. Ah! One of them is so cute. Yay! They're finally here. Yay! You're so cute today. It's practically obscene. Seriously? Just wow. You guys are seriously cute. Have you always been this cute? Ah, the shock of my super cute kids seems to be making me go bald. Like, in patches. He's actually balding. Ugh, gross. I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry and give them the prize? It's too cold. I, I can't stand it. Hurry, I want to go somewhere warm. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slaves. <gasps> is this a revolution? Is is this a revolution I sense? I I'm sensing that I I, I am I'm in fact sensing a, a revolution. We will not let you use us anymore. <laughs> From now on, I will be calling the shots. Huh? G good one, kids. Very funny. You could show me where the hidden cameras are now. That's old. But father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this for so long. You've become predictable. It it's the age of the mono cubs now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? B what? But what about the all the long time fans who? Anyway, you're just a has-been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tan? Uh, has-been? Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such? <gasps> oh my god, it's mutiny. You were saying... Oh, it's mutiny! Eek! Did you forget father? Only we can pilot the Exosalt. Oh my god. What? Really? How could you forget that? Thank you, Father. But the Academy is under our <gasps> control now. Bro. Outside, Father. Viva la revolution. Are we, I want our prize, though. It can't be. No way. Are you saying that treating your kids like my property was wrong? You're the worst. It's completely and utterly wrong. No, 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 no. No, 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 no way. Oh, he's balding again. Uh, he's bald again. It seems a shock made him go bald. This time, for good. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards. 
A wonderful prize. Uh, um, let's see what the prize is this time. Oh. Of course, giving away a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. Okay, what does this stuff do? Wow, what a bunch of random junk. I mean, bravo, <laughs> bravo. What a bunch of random junk. Okay. We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. I hope we can all get along. Hmm? I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh, man. We didn't need more junk. We had way too much anyway. And its name is Kibo. That's robophobic. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. Let's get along. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Actually... Also, we've hidden another flashlight, a flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. So long. Farewell. Hmm. Jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it. I've got too much pride as a human to let these those robots push me around. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I've recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so... So what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but... Yay! A new area means we can have lots more fun. I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school secret. Okay. In that case, then we'll all deal with the murder girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro. I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, okay. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. But. Yeah. All that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? Uh... Let's just leave him here. I suppose I should get out. I should try these items around the school like last time. This is a creepy ass room. So a lot of weapons are here. You know, whatever those are, are really standing out to me. The red ones. Yo. Uh, hmm? no. Don't mind, but uh, when we were talking about Maki, you looked really upset. Ah. Well, yeah, I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's... I can't believe it either. Uh, she doesn't seem like she could do something, uh, do some terrifying assassin. Sure. Uh, terrifying, huh? Don't worry about it. Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Why is he so confident? Okay, so we need to. Oh, hello, Angie. Um, we need to find places for everything. Oh, they're all just kind of here. The magic key. Oh, that was easy. Well. Okay. That felt... That felt really easy. It's magic. What, I wonder, is beyond here? Perhaps someone awaits us. Huh? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. A world full of jests. I suppose that's true. Oh, it's a staircase. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry, Gonzo will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Aww. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Um... Tuxedos are essential for gentlemen, but masks too? Well... I should go. <laughs> okay, Sailor Moon reference. I wonder if we'll find our, like, our, our, our research lab uh. or whatever. The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing uh, it. Um... What is going on in here? Leroy, 
Bye. Thank you for the tier one. 23 months, gamer. You almost had two years. That's crazy. Thank you. So, um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop. I can't, if I hear any serious, scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Um... But she said it made up story. So that means it okay, right? So long. What? Farewell. Wait, but the story. Uh, this area is terrifying. Oh my god. Hey. This beat's kind of like, you know, it's kind of bussing. Hey, so I'm just checking, but this is a school, right? Okay. Yeah, at least that's what Monokuma said. Uh this floor doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, does it? No. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Actually, I mean, this floor's atmosphere is completely different. Like, it's a whole other building. Uh... Making a building like this must have taken a lot of money and work. And all the research labs are amazing. How much money did uh, was put into this school? And it was all built just for us. They right. did mention that the labs were so we could develop our talent. You research your talent, perfect it. Uh, that's kind of like a school, isn't it? It can't be. Then Monokuma really wants a, uh, wants this to be a school where ultimates gather. Hmm. And yet, at the same time, they're trapping us here and making us kill each other. I guess. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. We were brought here and then forced to do the killing game. Uh... I don't understand at all. My mind has hit its limit. What on earth is this Academy for Gifted Juveniles? This music is so good, though. Oh, whoa. It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them are very rare. It would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist lab. Wonderful. So wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. I suppose there's no point in thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Can I leave? No, I don't want to investigate. He's creepy. No, let me leave. That's true. I don't think I could read all of these if I had a million years. All right, what does it want me to click? Okay. Could it be? Th that's incredible. Oh, can it be? I've never could have dreamed of that this truly existed. Yo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can this be? Why is he coming? Uh, um... Perfect? For what? What are the statue and cage for? <laughs> I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a monumentous day indeed. He is so focused that he's not even listening. A golden katana? Best to play so long and sharp. You were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Ah, so it's not made of gold. Well. That said, that katana has immense of anthropolog anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in, war, uh, in wars are worshipped as gods. That is one such katana. It is extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I want to take a look. See? Kokichi suddenly popped up between, hit, between us and grabbed the katana from the case. <laughs> but wait, you, you mustn't touch it without... Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Comple Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed the sword. Hmm. Now this katana is a real deal. It's even gold plated with, uh, for that authentic look. Yeah. Hmm, I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. 
Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly or... I feel, I feel as though, I feel, I'm getting a sense, I'm, I'm, one could say I'm getting a vibe that this is going to be the murder weapon. Please don't. Something in this room will be the murder weapon. Uh, okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Kiji slid the sword back down to its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa. Ew, my hands are all sticky. That gold plating flakes off so easily. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. See, this, okay, this is 100% going to be used as the next murder weapon. Turn out your nerves. Please don't. I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. That's what Kyo sounds like when he gets angry. And I think this is the last thing. The book. This one looks like it was bound by hand. You think the sword might be used as a red herring to hide the true murder? Oh, that's a good point. Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. What is it? Like a death note or something? Um, what is that book, Kyo? Uh, can this be? It is an extremely precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. Yes. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl. The lone survivor risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one of a kind relic that had been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. One of a kind? That is valuable. I see, yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are a few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I've already memorized it. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to lay my eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... Yes. Rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why I was buried in the darkness along with the entire cage dog village. <laughs> But it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel the power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. Yeah, and to quote Himiko, It's magic. Listen. No, I, I would not like to lend my ear to the voices of the dead. Huh? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, I find the most interesting is a seance called the Caged Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are uh, are to be used in this very seance. Is a seance? Is that the word? <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. You see. So would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm -hmm. Seance? Not seance? Seance. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as, a simp as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. Uh, yes, but talking to the dead? Say. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Speak with the dead? If it were possible, I suppose... I'd like to talk to her one more time! No. Hey, Shuichi, shut up! I want to talk to her one more time! Okay. 
Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is, we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> the determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me. I One must call myself. on them only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Well, we're leaving. He's creepy. Did anything interesting happen? Um, we found out that Kyo is still a creep. Not that we didn't already know that. Oh, I went out from this door. Um. 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 Ace, thank you for the tier one for 14 months. Um, this is scary. I don't want to go there. That's scary. What's over here instead? Maybe this is less scary. Oh, there's left. Oh! <sighs> Why would you knock? I'm already scared shitless and you're knocking. Is this funny to you? Is, 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 is this funny to you? Okay, let's start with the center room. Candles just barely lit a dim, dusty room. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragedy. Right. Oh my god! The way, the way Fuyuhiko, the way Fuyuhiko just jump scared my heart. I want, I, what's my heart rate at right now? That's, that scared the shit out of me, bro. Freaking damn right. Freaking damn right. Why scared? Because this is creepy. Okay, let's see what my heart rate's at. Ooh, so my resting heart rate is six, is 60. Okay, 90. It does feel like something is going to pop out at you. I don't like that they said that. I don't like that they said that. I don't like that they said that. The candles on the wall are the only light in this room. There's no windows here. It gets pitch black if candle right? goes out. Uh, please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. Wow. Can't imagine many people do. Oh, there's writing here. Wait, why wouldn't it let me... It won't let me uh, click the writing on the wall there. It won't let me click the writing on the wall. Oh, the floor? Oh. The floorboard got no nails in it. Huh? Mm. Floorboard's just resting on top of a cross piece. That's true. But But each floorboard is thick and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. What does not worrying about follow uh, falling through the floor? But but it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. Ah, huh? uh, in that corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it may not be good to go over there. Hmm. There's an empty room. Oh. This is not empty room. You see three same looking doors in hall, right? All those rooms empty, just like this one. And they got candles in for light too. Hmm. Ah, so there's three of them. Anyway, we know gotta worry. No reason we need ever to You're use right. empty room. Um then could we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floors make me nervous. Well. Well, there are no windows though. We don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. Should I go in all three rooms? Do I need to go in all three rooms? I wanna know what the what this says on the wall though. 
Why won't they let me look at it? Exactly like the others. This one doesn't have writing. Yeah, this this one doesn't have any writing. Why did the other one have writing? Huh. That's weird. Does this one have writing? Is that writing going to be important? Why did no one comment on the writing? The writing on this one? I see no writing. Oh, only the middle room had writing. That's weird. That's suspicious. Okay, now I have to go into the scary, the scary hallway. I, I'm scared. I don't like horror. I don't play scary games for a reason. Why is it so creepy? Oh, no, I don't like this. 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 What was... I don't like this. I don't like this. That was creepy, bro. That was creepy. That's creepy. Um. 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 A hanging scroll, but it's blank. Okay, thank you. His head's on the floor. Okay. Oh, thank God. Why? Why is... Why is it glowing? Why is it glowing? Oh, it's locked. Hmm. Oh yep, seems like it. I guess we can go. Why is Kokichi here? Like, for, for, for what reason is he here? Like, I don't remember inviting him. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance on the end of the hallway. Uh, um. Come on, how do we get inside? <laughs> Don't give up yet, because I have a secret tech. As if on cue, we heard a metallic click of a lock opening. And the door slowly opened. Can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in here? Hey, hey. Yeah, we're chatting out here. Let's all get inside already. Come in, come in, please. Come in. Ever polite Angie invited us into the lab anyway. Ooh. There are various art and carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist lab. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? Leave it to me. I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second. I, we said I was going to answer that question. Eh? No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? Ah. You promised. Because I don't remember you not promising. Stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt, then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. 
Wait. What? I'll stick my hand up my butt, then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around? But wait, Motodam, we weren't fighting. We were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. As long as you're getting along. So? What's with the key? Actually... Oh, yes. Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on art unless she's alone. Maybe. I must shut out all the people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. <laughs> Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Wow, like a porn star. One, two, what? One. Wait, first of all, that makes no sense. Because, wait a second, wait a second. That doesn't make any sense logistically. Because, in that vein of thought, wouldn't a porn star be comfortable showing off everything to a bunch of people because like they would have to do it to like to like a filming crew right yeah. oh it's the opposite and then... so any room we're gonna uh where i'm gonna make art needs to have a key but i'm surprised the mona cubs knew that yeah. And these are all my favorite art supplies t and sculpting supply uh, tools, too. How did you know? Um, what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. C calm down. I'm even worse. We know everything about you, bastards. We are all friends. Because we want to be your friends. I don't, like I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? Oh! Oh! My heart! Oh, my heart! Oh, wait, Monodam, he didn't mean that. He's just a meanie. He's just a meanie. I, cannot forgive that. I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Now, 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 Monodam. We haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Here it is, but there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then... Let me see that key. Okay. So someone's gonna die in this room. <laughs> like, someone's dying in here. <laughs> that, that is my theory. Monodam swiped the key from Mono Fanny, then lifted it to his mouth. He ate it. He swallowed it. He's flatlining. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. Let's get along. I want everyone to get along. Phew. Oh, Monodam, you're so reckless. So... Let's carry Monodam away for now. We'll carry him like a, like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. So long, farewell. So long, farewell. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Yeah, what the heck, man? But I'm only going to lock this door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if I can't open and or close the door from the outside. Ah. Oh, I guess that's fine then. By the way, Those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So, does that mean this school was specifically made for us? But... Monokuma has claimed that before, but... Is that really possible? When are we going to get our ultimate, uh, like, detective lab? 
This giant complex was built for just the 16 of us, right? Only Atua knows for sure. It's a miraculous mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't ha matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reasons to leave this place. <laughs> Are we supposed to be okay with that? You can investigate Shuichi. A lump of wax? Mm -hmm. It's wax for making wax sculptures. Mm. Yep, yep. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh, oh but Atua is the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. But, but... It seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks were used to, used to be made from wax. Well, I feel like they're alluding to a lot of stuff that's going to be happening this chapter. I'm scared. It's... Okay, and I guess just the back door? That door is not the one we used to come in from. This door is super crappy. I'm guessing it's the rear entrance. See? See, it's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. If I remember correctly. Oh, right. The door that we used. Yeah. Yeah, that door had a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors? That's mildly infuriating. No, no. It's perfect that they're not exactly the same. Uh... Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and golden ratio and such. And then? But I think asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. All right, we had to go. We had to go on our journeys. I'm not going back to that creepy ass place. I guess I have to go back to that creepy-ass place. Oh no, I don't like walking through- I don't like walking through here! I don't- I don't like walking through here. What if they look different? I don't like that! I don't like them! Okay, so one, two, three, four, five have their heads off. And three- okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. And f f five out of eight have their heads off. Is this is this is this a thing? But why? But why? Yeah, five are dead. How many how many classes are left? How many how many students are left? Let me out of here. What if five people die this chapter? That's- there's no way five people are dying this chapter. Whew. Oh, we're back to normal. Okay, let's look at the map. Um... Where do you went all there? Can I not- Why can't I teleport? How come I- How come I can't teleport? Outside. Wait, how do I how do I switch to place? Okay. How come I no? But I should I should be able to teleport. Bruh. Don't skip like like day. I'll skip what I want to skip. Oh. There are fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Hmm. Huh. You just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but Himiko... Uh, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No, I was just blushing. Huh? From your own compliment. But... 
Yumiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. That's the only reason you don't do it. They're so weird. Hey, can I gamble? Why did they keep... Why... Why do they keep rate limiting me when I want to go gamble? I just... I just... I want to gamble! What are they building here? Alright, I have to go down... Oh, now I can... Okay, buddy. What is this? No, I haven't... Oh, I haven't been able to gamble. Uh, he doesn't moan anymore. I guess we give him the ninja squirrel. Oh? Oh no, not deforestation! Um... Uh... A building? What kind of technology suddenly makes a building appear? Wow! It's not just any building, it's a dojo! So it doesn't matter how it happened. Right! Like, I wouldn't care if a chef came by a car or train as long as they made good food. Is that really the same thing? We're just... It's just a dojo? Yeah, I guess it... It's the ultimate Aikido Master's Lab. I'm sure of it. Well. All right, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies first. What a pain. What a pain. Pushing Himiko along, Tenko steps inside the building. That's true. Huh. Well, that's weird. Oh my god, that's huge. <laughs> Whoa, this is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. They smell nice. There's a lot of stuff in here. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood. Uh, wait, is it a doll? Is it supposed to watch over us and protect us? Okay, the mat. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's weird. The scaffold suspended in the air with chains. This is for some kind of jump training, like a kung fu movie. Is that it? You guys don't like the robot? Um. Okay. I think that might actually be it. Let's just talk to them, I guess. Damn it! See, this is my lab, you jerk. Why? Why are you angry? Wow! I'm so happy. I just can't contain my emotions. Like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. An emotional roller coaster. The complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing! Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring will be incredible here. But, but without a sparring partner. Uh ha! Well, well, homeboy just got, he just got volunteered. Chuichi, he's too frail for this. What was that for? Why are you throwing me? Listen up. Neo Kido is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. You're gonna start with that? <laughs> Wait. Wait, this is just kidding. Why go straight for, into actual fighting? Oh. You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Huh? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. lack self esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself. Right. Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Uh, okay. 
Listen up. You know what works real good at lifting all doubt? All that doubt? Neo Aikido. Because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko. Now how about you, Himiko? Hmm? What? If we combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'll be able to solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... Oh! Oh no, Himiko! Oh no, no, she's too fragile for this! She's too fragile! I thought I was going to get more sussy with her and Himiko. I see. It seems you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all. That's right! You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Now come sweat with me, and afterwards we'll hit the showers together. There it is. There it is. We found the real re- We found the motivation. Thank you for hydrate. That right there, boys. That was the real reason she wanted to do this. My back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Oh, you're angry? I can see it in your heart. Uh, okay. Even I can see that. Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, we just need to find the last item. Oh, thank you for stretch. Check my fingies. What's that over there? Over where? Oh, Miu. <laughs> Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. Oh. No, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. So good. I won't make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. Just the tip is fine. Just the tip is fine. You can take this relationship to the next level. Please. But Miu, we, we shouldn't. Come with me. I'll be fine. Just come with me. We'll do it together. Pulling on Kibo's arm, Miu made her way to the ultimate inventor's lab. Uh. What was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on. Just in case. I'm scared for- I'm scared for Kibo. Careful not to make a sound, I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Um 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 You guys um you guys you can't you can't we can't look no we can't you guys can't look at this no, 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 you guys, we, you, you're not allowed to look at, you're not allowed to look at this, this is unsay so content, no, 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 close your eyes right now, <laughs> it should have been me, it should have been me, <laughs> yeah, we're say so, we're say so, guys, don't look, he's just a robot, he's literally, pl he's plugged in because he's a robot, That's it. He just he just plugged he just plugged because he's a robot. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must feel so pent up. I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Firm. 
really firm. Like, damn. Your body is seriously um, incredible. I've never seen one like this. I know her voice. What's going on? Careful, be gentle. That tickles. <laughs> this is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew. Okay, what yeah, she just doing. she listen because she's an inventor. She wants to take him apart, but he's, he's a robot. It's that's it. It's it. You guys get your minds out of the gutters. Oh, I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing too. If you keep this up, I just might. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way this is happening. There's no way this is happening. There's no way. There's no way. I refuse. I refuse. Ain't no way. I closed the door without a word. Shuichi said, I'm not dealing with this. Mia was just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed, nothing but that. Um. Okay. Um. Where's the last place I need to go? Is it not gonna tell me? Okay, I have to go here. How come he really wants me to walk there? Are you kidding me, man? Whew. Guys, I'm like sweating. That was intense. That was really intense. Oh my gosh. Whew. Where's the upstairs? Where am I? Okay. That was a seat. Dude, Mew's voice is so nice. Like when she's not being obnoxious, it's great. Um, and then we should go over here. Then the stairs should be next to Maki's lab. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. Hey. W what are you doing here? Monokuma stared at me in silence and disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um. I suppose he wants me to follow him. What could be down there? Where is he? Where where, where where'd he go? Which hallway did he go down? Okay. Whew. Monokuma is glancing back and forth at me and the picture on the wall. Uh, um. Huh? Ah, I see. It's not a canvas. It's a pane of glass. Hmm. Maybe I should use that item I haven't All used right. yet on this. I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. Oh, whoa. I knew it. Just as I thought, there's a hidden passageway here. I don't know what he's up to, but this really did help us out. The passageway looked different than the haunted house, more like a factory. Hmm. This is eerie in a different way. Huh. This is... Computer room? 
What's going on? What's going on? It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this... You bastards. If you've come this far, that means you've solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. But I have a, I don't have an Xbox. I have a PS5 that I don't use. I I don't think I've ever played a game on my PS5. I've had it for like two years now. Yeah. Huh? What teamwork? It's just Shuichi. Can I have it? No. Guys, I got it because my when I still worked a corporate job, my manager was like, I have an extra one. Do you want to buy it? And I was like, sure. So I bought it. And then I proceeded to exclusively use the controller on my P like on my PC to play Honkai Impact 3rd. And I have my PS5 in the living room, so whenever people come over, they're jealous. Like, there was one time we had extended family over, and my uncle and, like, my cousin, he's, like, 16. They're talking about video games, and I was asking them what games they play. And my cousin was like, oh, like, I really want a PS5. I just can't get my hands on one. I was like, oh, I have one. And I pointed to it, and I, I could see his face just drop. And I was like, yeah, I don't really use it, though. I just use my PC. Like, I already have, like, a 3090. And then his face dropped even more. And he was like, you have a 3090? And then I was like, yeah, and it's in white. <laughs> so, yeah, I got the PS5 strictly to flex. <laughs> Yeah, it was really just the flex. <laughs> the true Monokuma of despair. Yeah. I mean, listen, I use my... It's because, like, I only play console stuff for, like, exclusives. And there's nothing, like, really exclusive to PlayStation that I particularly want to play. But, like, Switch, I'll play, like, once in a while. Like, Xenoblade, I'll play it. Fire Emblem, I'll play. Um, Like, when Rain Code finally gets to my house, I'll play that. So, yeah, there's, like, that kind of stuff. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Final Fantasy. I've never actually played a Final Fantasy game. I don't know if I'll like it. But let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I am certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? Oh, yes, we should explain this room. This is the computer room. Ah. But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is, like, super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world. Wait. Are these the computers that were used for Danganronpa 2? Wait, 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 wait. Were these the computers used in Danganronpa 2? Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Hmm? Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Huh? You totally said way too much. Sorry. Well, I knew it. Hmm. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. Hmm. Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Mono Fanny? Eh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? Okay. So why didn't you? You're friends, that. right? So why didn't you help him? I will not forgive that. If you can't get along, you will be punished. You too, Monotaro, friends share everything, even punishments. Yeah. Hmm, this machine can make a new world? What are they talking about? I'm not good with computers, so I don't think I'd, be, I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What does that mean? 
With how little I know about computers, I don't think I'd stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. Anything else in this room? Oh, a chest. Oh yeah, a flashback light. With this, I can find out what this place is and why we're here. Ugh. Why? Why is he here? I was having such a, a like a grand, peaceful time without okay. him. Oh, did I actually go right. auto mode? I'll get the others. You sh uh, you just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. Ugh, I hate him. Anything else in here? Uh, not seeing anything else stand out. Yeah, let's go. Bum, bum. All right, finally we can get out of this creepy place. Wait, hold on. Water. Okay. Are you guys ready for some ASMR while I open my sparkling water? This room is also very hot, so I wanted a cold drink. All right, guys, you ready for this? There you go. That was some ASMR action. How many people are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're more than eight. Toichi, is it true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yeah, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kokichi wasn't lying? I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Thank goodness. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing too, because I don't want my pants to be on fire. Actually. I want to start talking about what we're gonna do, but Kaito isn't here yet. Ah. Maki's not here either. Ah. Oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? Huh? You didn't invite her? Hey. Forget about that killer. Hey, Miyu, key boy. Did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. Yeah, there's a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you like to take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm not very computer savvy. What? Oh, that... Is that so? That's... Unexpected. I've been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent? Well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I do say so myself. Don't worry. Kibo's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not mock me. I just told you I'm good at one-man comedy shows. I don't really get it, but we just need to check on this check out this computer room, right? <laughs> and I'm not gonna come for just some computer. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh, um, well the Mono Cubs did say it was amazing. No. Maki here? <gasps> Maki's here! Uh. Kaito and Maki! Huh? But Maki, why is Maki with you? Of course. Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? Maki's here, baby girl. <laughs> when you say everyone, do you need to truly include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. Come on, man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kaito gripped Maki's arm before she could leave. By the way. Kaito, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um, is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. <gasps> Maki, my love. Really? But why you hide that? Isn't it obvious? If she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. That's wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? Because. When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. 
eventually that fear will turn into hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. You've lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's so mean. Poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything that you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is that it? She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Yeah, are you guys gonna pay her? And if she does kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to. <sighs> hey, can you let go of me now? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh. Kaito finally let go of her arm, and Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret, and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. <sighs> but if someone who doesn't know how to mind his business keeps kept dragging me places... <gasps> Huh? You talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you. Unless one of you tries to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Oh, she's so cute! Then... So you guys mind your business and I'll mind mine. And we'll agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Wait, but the flashback light. It started out as a threat, but the last bit... Seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaito, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? The way, the way I hate Kokichi. I, you guys, if Kokichi has a, a thousand haters, I am one of them. If Kokichi has a hundred haters, I am one of them. If Kokichi has one hater, it is me. If Kokichi has zero haters, I am dead, but I'm still hating him from the grave. I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you. Right, guys? No. I wouldn't say that, but... Tell me your thoughts. Should we finish getting... Should we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback light, yes? Everyone! Yes. So we've all decided that we're going to do... Sneak attack! Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new. Like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit. Of course it's got something to do with why. Hey. Hey, instead of arguing, it'd be faster to just use it, you know? You're right. Yeah, going to worry, but we gotta do it. But, but... No matter what we remember, you can't think of wanting to leave this place. Come on, come on! If you think like that... Uh -oh. We'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me! I, I know that. We can't go around repeating ourselves. You must do it. Then let's give it a try. Shuichi, go for it. Uh... Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me, and I flicked on the flashback light. And at that moment, once again... The world... Warped. Ooh. Ooh, he got a little dumpy on him. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. <gasps> they were so young and talented. How could this happen? Oh? Wait, this was a scene that played right after chapter or right after chapter one. But, but in that scene, only Kaide was shown. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? How is this possible? I honestly can't believe that. Oh, Kaide, I miss you. That's it? What was that? A funeral? It was mine? It was everyone's here. Huh? Why why was I at my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? I see. It would appear we all remembered the same thing. 
Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? Why? What, what the hell's going on? What was the funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing else. No way. Maybe we already dead? <laughs> no way. Jeez, this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then, what was it? I mean, it was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival. That's right. Yeah, it's probably a memory from a play we did at, for a school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? Of course. If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. <sighs> That's true. But aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's... Th that... We'll, we'll probably remember something about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistaking that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Come to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me. I'm alive, hale, and ha hearty. Because you get a hard, to hard on every time you see me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I heard that... <laughs> I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the mornings. Is that true? What? Hey, stay in your lane, bitch. Oh. I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. I'm disappointed. I hate him. Huh? A disappointment? Mm -hmm. It's true. The flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously, talk about a disappointment. Uh -uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. Huh? It's a lie. Oh no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw. It can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint. That would help, but... Hmm. I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out to clear my mind. Is it gambling time? It's gambling time. It's gambling time, boys. We are going to the casino. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Crack the fingies. Crack the neck. It's time. Let's go. It's time to g g g g g g g gamble. I wonder if we got a new game unlocked. Like, is Outlaw run up now? Oh, it is! Well, we don't need to read the rules. Okay, we'll bet. I'm sure I can figure it out. I'm supposed to hit people? Okay, I'm supposed to hit people. Oh god. Oh, this is kind of hard. Oh, this is kind of hard. I need to get my driving wheel out, bro. Whoops. Wow, wow. 
I wonder what kind of combo I'm supposed to be going for. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we're doing so good. We're doing so good. Okay, there's a car there, so we probably shouldn't go there. Okay, one minute left in this one. Oh, I can control my with my mouse as well. Okay. Ooh, plus one thousand. Thank you, Mono Dam. All right, we're doing so. I'm 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 so good at this game, bro. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Oops, I missed one. Uh huh. Wow, wow. Oh god, not the speeding up again. I, it's so hard to control a fast car. I literally can't control a fast car, bro. Nice. Thank you, Motodam. Nice hundred combo. How good was that? How good was that? Triple A! Is Triple A good? Is Triple A good? Is, does that be S? Does, does Triple A be S? What's treasure hunt? Oh, this was in the um. These are the mini games. Aren't these the mini games in the um? Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can't get that one anymore. The big boy. Okay. No! How do I... Can I destroy things? Okay, nice. I can't get this one. I can't get this one. I think I got everything, no? Okay, no more moves. Oh! Oh, I did great! I still think I like slots the best. If I'm remembering correctly, I think this slot machine did the best for us. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you for stretch. Ugh. It's fine. We're getting started. We're getting started. Kicks. <laughs> Lol, thank you for hydrate ace. Where are my wins, huh? Give it to me. me. Alright guys, we need to get to we need to get to ten thousand. Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, lucky free spins. Let's go. I wanna I still wanna see the sevens. I want to see the sevens in a row. I've never seen that. I wonder how many coins that gives me. Wonderful. God, this is so addicting. Give it to me. Give it to me. Wonderful. 
Nah, I'll never take a gambling sponsorship. You know, believe it or not, um, I actually don't gamble. Like, with real money. I'll never do that. Like, I'll never go to a casino, play slots. I'll never go actually gamble with real money. I feel like it's a very big, slippery slope. I also know myself. And if I see shiny numbers, and I'm like, oh, it's totally possible for me to do this. Then, like, uh, game over. Like, I'm going to spend so much money. So, like, I know myself, so I'm never going to do it. No, but gacha games are different. You have an end goal. Where it's like, I know with, like, Genshin Impact or, like, Honkai. If I spend a certain amount of money, I will get the character eventually that I want and then I can stop. But with, like, real-life gambling, there is no end goal. You just keep going. Give it to me. Give it to me. So, personally, yeah, gacha has a specific prize. Gambling is just, like, you're just going. Indefinitely. Like, there is no end. And I don't, I don't like that. So, like, I'll never do it. Like, even for fun, I'll never do it. Because I know it's a slippery slope. And yeah, Gacha's not really gambling. It's setting money on fire. You're just burning money for pixels. Yeah, Gacha has a pity system. Exactly. Why am I not winning here? Grab a brown. live a mile from a casino. I don't think casinos are allowed in my state. I've been to a casino before, but we just went for the buffet. Because I know casinos have really good buffets. But yeah, that's also why I'm not going to TwitchCon this year. Because it's in Vegas. And genuinely, Vegas as a city is completely wasted on me. Like, I'm sorry. I don't drink. So I'm not going to get drunk anywhere. I don't gamble. So I'm not going to go gambling anywhere either. Like, what am I supposed to do in Vegas? Like, while everyone else is gambling and drinking. Hookers? No, thank you. I'm just... Guys, listen. I I am but a simple gacha gamer. That's all I do. <laughs> I just want to play games and look at my waifus. I don't want to actually, like, ruin my life. Watch some magic shows. The magic... Go there to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna spend all that money just to eat. I'll just wait till TwitchCon's like in LA again. I'll go to LA and eat over there. Wonderful. Also, TwitchCon is very close to a different place that I'm going around the same time. So like, I just don't have the actual time to go. It's I don't, I feel like with like Blackjack, I like don't know the actual rules. Why am I not getting like the, 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 the Moto Cub 201, huh? Where is it? It's supposed to be a lucky machine. I want my sevens. There's so many sevens on the board right now. I want sevens. Oh yeah. Rise and shine, Earth sign. Come on, come on. I remember when I was a kid, I really liked the movie, uh, 21. It's just a game of luck like any other. That's true. But yeah, I don't know. I don't like the idea of gambling with money. Just like personally, I'm just not big on it. It doesn't feel as rewarding as like gambling for waifus. I don't know. I don't know. I feel way more satisfied spending $100 and getting like Locha than I would spending $100 and getting another $100 back. I don't know, it just doesn't feel as satisfying to me. It's enough sarcasm. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. 10 months, gamer. You only get one of those a month. Thank you so much for using it on me. Thank you. Uh, The movie 21 was kind of shit compared to the actual real life events the guy wrote about. Really? I watched it when I was a kid because I got it for free on iTunes for some reason. And I had it downloaded on my, my orange iPod Nano. So I watched that movie at least 20 times because it was the only movie I had downloaded on my iPod. So like at night when I was bored, because like just like I didn't have like a like a smartphone back then, I would just watch that movie on repeat in bed, like because I didn't want to sleep. 
I feel like that's just so like twenty like two thousand nine. I want sevens. Give me sevens. I feel like this machine's not as lucky as the other machine. I'm going to a different machine. Let's go to this one. Yeah, we're gonna try this machine now. I think the other one's not as lucky. This is this is it. This is it. This is the machine. You know, the machines matter, you guys. You know, you gotta warm up the machine, though. Gotcha. Bum, bum. Wonderful. Wonderful. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Come on, two sevens in a row. We're so close to getting sevens. I can smell it. Bum, bada, bum. Ooh, rise and shine, Earth sign. Yeah, I think everyone in chat should also do slots. Oh my god, two in a row. Oh my goodness. A double. I have to gamble, okay? Another one! I told you this machine was it. I told you this machine was it. Three times, like back to back to back. Come on, sevens. It'll happen. I believe. I believe. I believe in a thing called love. Wasting your luck here. Yeah, but I need the 10,000 coins so I can buy a love key. There's a reason why I'm doing this, okay? And this is only the only time I could actually do slots. Because, like, I get story locked. Like, if I go right before trial. Or if I, uh... If I get, like, right after I finish a trial. It just doesn't let me do it. How do you get more points? By watching the stream. No, no, no. If we just simply get some sevens, it'll go by really quickly. Wonderful. Like, we're, we're gonna get sevens right now. Like, watch this. Watch this awesome move. Bro, that's actually so close. That was actually so close. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Things you uh, uh, this thing sucks. I played so many slots with the love key. It took you so long. Really? I mean, we're almost halfway there. I think it's pretty good luck. Look at that. Another 200 right there. Easy clap. I told you this machine is so much better than the other machine. Rise and shine, Ur sign. The treasure hunt seemed pretty fast for the 200. It's probably... The treasure hunt's probably the fastest. But... But I like slots. But I like slots. Do you guys not like the slots? Okay, how about this? It, when I hit... When I hit... 6,000. I'll go do the, the treasure hunt to, to min-max my slot machine. Uh, to min-max my, my, my points. Yeah. Or maybe maybe five, 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 like 5,500. Maybe 1,000 is a little... It's kind of a lot. Two sevens in a row, bro. Come on. Just give me... Just make, it, make, it, make it five sevens in a row. I deserve all the sevens, bro. Or at least give me like a seven with all wilds. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Uh, uh, did, uh, uh, did she just copy me? Um, 
That was creepy. That was I that was creepy. Bro, they're watching, they're listening. So many sevens not in a row. So many sevens not in a row. Like, come on. Lag, thank you so much for the prime sub. Oh my god, thank you so freaking much. You only get one of those a month, and thank you so much for using it on me. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Just you guys, thank you. A new prime gamer. Enjoy the ad-free experience and the emotes. Hey, chat. If you are subbed, what's your favorite emote? Use it right now. Made mommy is gone, sad. I know. It's so sad. We miss her. I wonder if there's a diminishing return to this mini game. Like if you play a lot at the beginning and you keep playing, then you lose a bunch of money. I don't know. Pray the what is life one or the rip one, the buff, the mega lull, just the cute smile one. Prage. Norman, thank you for wasting 2,500 channel points on absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. Literally wasting all those channel points on garbage. Are you not ashamed of yourself for being a literal piece of shit? You are nothing. You are pathetic. You are a literal freaking degenerate. Can you open your mouth right now? Open it nice and wide. You ready? Go. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Pathetic. Vanna, thank you so much for gifting us uh, to gifting us up to Phoenix. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Phoenix, you better say thank you to your sub daddy. Alright, I guess we could take this opportunity for me to practice. There's so many sevens on the board. We could take this moment for me to practice my voices. You guys, what kind of voice do you want me to practice? You know, voice acting practice. Um, hi chat. It's Clara here. Uh, I don't know why we're at the casino right now, but Mr. Swarog told me to meet him here. So here we are. And these machines were really shiny, and there was really bright lights. So I was playing with them. Umu? Um, oh my gosh. How do we, how do you even do, what do Umu girls say? A nerd voice? Like, oh, David Kun. Like a mommy voice? I'm not very good at mommy voices. Like, hey. When you drop an octave a little bit. Why is this one so much faster? It makes no sense. Bro, where's all my money at? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. They heard me complain. Something more than you just woke up than you... I, I don't know how to do a mommy voice. I, I can't. I don't know how to do it. Like, genuinely. I just don't have the vocal tone for it. Or, like, the lack of embarrassment to do it. Because I find it really cringe. <laughs> like, people who have, like, a really mommy voice. I'm like, how are you not cringing at yourself for doing this? Especially if it's not natural. Oh, hey, Lucky Scatter. Gata. What? It just happened? It just happened for free like that? And I got an achievement for it. Hey, yo. 800 just we hit 6,000 just like that I feel like for as much bro look how close the sevens were Look how close the sevens were Bro So I imagine if we get all sevens it's probably a thousand Can we get another one? Oh my god can we get another one now that we know that's possible? Come on, come on, just a little bit, just a little bit. Give it to me. Give it to me. Wow, this isn't what addiction feels like, I promise. Bro, there's so many sevens. There's so many sevens on the board. They're, they're teasing me, they're teasing me. I'm being teased right now. 
Come on, where'd all my sevens go? And it just kind of happened. I wasn't even expecting that. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. In the words of Sistar, give it to me, oh baby, give it to me. Give it to me, oh baby, give it to me. Rise and shiner sign. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. We're just doing so well. Thank you for hydrate, Kenny. Wonderful. Okay, so right now it's like 16. You get 20 if you get all the mono cubs without a wild. Um, and then it's 200 if you get the mono cubs. And then 800 if you get a seven with wild. So I'm assuming all sevens is probably a thousand. Bro, two sevens in a row. Come on. I just want to love keep guys. Who we should take to the love hotel? Because I'm gonna want to take Miu just to see what happens. I think that'd be hilarious. But I also want to take Maki. But I don't know if I can take Maki yet because I don't have her fully fragmented. Well, now I need 20,000 if I want to take both of them. Hey, yo! Well, at this rate, we'll be able to do both. You can't choose? What? I can't choose. It's random. No, this game is going to give me Kokichi. I know this game. No, no, no. No. They're go it's going to make me take Kokichi. Hell yeah. What's what's save what save scum? Save, use then reload. Oh. I will do that. Like I said, that's gonna stop when we hit 4,500, and now we're at 6,500, and I didn't stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like, I'm like a solid, like, 2,000 over what I said I was gonna go. <laughs> like, <laughs> We got a seven! And we'll get another one. We know it's possible now. Bro, what is this? No, no, no. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. <gasps> this game is messing with me. Give it to me. There's so many sevens. So many. None of them are, 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 are landing. Wonderful. Wonderful. Imagine there was a static RNG uh, scene for your save file to combat saves coming. Oh my god. I would cry. Okay, once we hit 7,000, I'll go do the other machine. All right? So in 500. If we ever get there. I mean, it's actually really good that you don't actually gamble. I'd be worried for you financially. No, I'm very actually, um, I know how to budget very well. I never spend over my means. And I usually keep pretty, uh, pretty strict, uh, look over my finances as well. I, I, I budget accordingly to what I know I can afford and what I know I can spend, including like gotcha games. I, that's all included in the budget. So what to you guys seems like I'm spending a lot. I've already accounted for within my own budget. 
and like I, I never go above what I uh, what I intend to go above. Listen, you guys, I sound I sound young, but I am 28 years old or like 27. So like, and I have worked corporate jobs and I do have a college degree. I understand how finances work. <laughs> like, I know how to be financially responsible. Yes, responsible streamer. Especially now that the student loans are coming back, bro. Ugh. I still have like 25,000. I haven't paid any of them since like COVID started. But it's fine. It's fine. I totally use my forensic science degree. Totally. 100% use my forensic science degree. Yeah, 25k. I also went to an like in-state university as well. My car's almost paid off, though. That's pretty poggers. Am I full-time streamer? Yes, I am. I got laid off of my corpo job, and I decided to use that as an opportunity to go full-time. You don't have student loans? Must be nice. But yeah, my car's almost fully paid off. I bought it in 2001. What? Again? What? I can't stop now. We just got another one. We just got another one. I can't stop now. That's two sevens in a, like in, in the same in the same day. Yeah, Tinky is right around the corner. I knew this machine was it. I knew this machine was lit, bro. But yeah, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look how close we were. Look how close we were to the full sevens. No. No, you guys, look how close we were. Do you see this? Do you see how close it was to full, like, a proper sevens? That's messed up, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But yeah, you guys, my car... You know, listen. Uh, again? Zero percent interest. That's how lucky I got with my car. We got it at zero percent. So everything I pay on my car goes straight to the car, which is why I've been able to pay it off so quickly. Yeah, I made my dad go with me to the dealer. He says, I'm not paying interest. And they said, well, okay then. <laughs> like, <laughs> I needed a man there with me, okay? <laughs> but yeah, and I also overpay, so I finish it faster. I like, I think I pay like double. Than uh, like the intended amount because I want to get it over with like as fast as possible. Yeah, dude, my dad's so fun. Like he's so funny when he negotiates. He just walked in and said, "I'm not paying." He's like, he's literally like, "I'm not paying int like, interest." <laughs> the guy's like, "Okay." <laughs> and it was right before like we had a car shortage. It was like perfect timing. But, yeah, I don't really drive my car very often. I've had it for two years now. I have like almost five thousand miles on it. I like, really don't drive very often. I fill up gas like once every other month. Al Papa is a Chad. No, it's even more Chad if we hit sevens. Wait, why'd you say Miles lull? What do you mean Miles lull? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, do you use kilometers? Yeah, we're back on the Gamba. We got sevens twice. So we can't stop now. We're so close. We're so close. Miles is a great unit. <laughs> Canadians use both systems. I mean, the kilometer thing is on the car as well. I just ignore it. Benefits of working from home, less cost for a car. Ma oh my God. Funny story. Um, <laughs> you guys. I was so you know how you need to get your car inspected every year? Like you have to go do an inspection or whatever. Well, my car apparently uh was supposed to be inspected of January of 2023. Well no one I noticed that my car needed an expect an inspection. May. 
Five months later. I was like, huh, that's weird. Why does it say 0123? Like, that's so weird. Like, what's that? What, what's that for? And so... I thought, yeah. Surprisingly, they never got pulled over for it. Maybe they thought it was a 7. But yeah, ooh. It's my time to shine. It's my time to shine. Uh... NA should just convert to using freedom units instead of miles. It's not the same accuracy and sense. Yes, officer, I was going 25 freedom. Ah! I was going at the speed of freedom. Makes me feel better. I ended up taking my sister's car for inspection when I found out she was six months expired. Yeah, I made my dad take it for me. Wow. All girls are the same, huh? Listen, listen, you guys, listen. I'm not here to perpetuate stereotypes, but it's not what sexism does for you, but no, it's not what you can do for sexism. It's what sexism can do for you. And if I can just be like, ooh, woo, what's a car? And then my dad will take care of everything for me. I'll do that. Because I don't want to go to the gas station to get to go figure it out. I don't want to go, go get my oil change. I could just be like, hey... My, my car's making a weird noise. What's wrong with it? And that's it. That's it. That's all I have to do. <laughs> You're using sexism to get, keep girl boss gaslight. Exactly. It's like, oh, you're fixing my car. Do you want a sandwich? <laughs> it's such a... Like, come on. I, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Yeah, fair trade, right? Okay, I'm a woman who doesn't have a car, so you avoid all those issues. That's nice. But I like having a car. I don't know. I, I live in the suburbs, so you kind of need a car in this area. What happened after ads? I had a code to give away free Primo gems for people who didn't have to watch ads. I'm so sorry. You missed out on your chance for 5,000 Primos. You live with the trees. I'm everywhere. Bonus games. Primo's cringe. Sorry, I meant I meant I meant crystals. You don't have one uh, more because it's too expensive. Rather than uh, not wanting one, you can in fact change tires and oil yourself thanks to your mom. Oh, that's nice. I think they're very practical codes. <laughs> very very practical skills in life to have. I simply. Okay. It's a horrible trait of mine. I would pay, I pay for convenience. If I don't have to do something, I won't. If I could pay someone to do something I don't want to do, I will pay them to do it because I don't want to deal with it. And I know that's a very privileged mindset of mine to have, but genuinely there's just things I don't want to do in life. And there's nothing that can like force me to do them if I just like don't want to do it. Have you ever thought about streaming on kick as well? The gambling is making me think of the power. No. Um, not really. I, I just don't see... I'm already streaming on YouTube and Twitch. I don't think I have time to add a third platform on top of that. Like, I don't know. It's too much. I'm tired, bro. I can barely manage these two platforms. And then, like, having a third on top of that as well. Like, I'm okay. Like, personally, I'm fine. If you want to support me, just, I don't know, watch here. Watch on YouTube like videos and comment that's really like all i i need but yeah yeah two streaming platforms editing videos making yeah it, it's a lot already i i'm tired make songs i can't sing i'm sorry i'm not musically inclined like at all i'm tone deaf so i will not be doing oh we were so close to another seven what try to sing no i know i can't sing tone deaf bar <laughs> Let us be the judge of that. No, you guys have heard me sing. Like, whenever there's, like, a soundtrack on and I'm, and I'm vibing to it, I'll sing along. It doesn't sound good, but I do it. Don't worry. Soon we'll have a car driving stream. And we'll be driving around and I'll be blasting 2000s music. And we can be, we can be vibing together. 
Yeah, I'm self-aware, you guys. I know my skills. I know my weaknesses. And my skills include being funny 80% of the time. And that's it. And then my, 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 my not skills are, are singing. Oh, yeah, you guys. You know, we could just talk because I'm just playing Gamble right now. Um, Steam sales on. What should I buy? Again? Again? What? I do have Despair Girls in my cart. I also have Danganronpa S in my cart as well. Um, I'm thinking maybe Omori. Um, there, there's also that in my cart. Uh, American Truck Driver is also in my cart. Um, what else? Wait, let me, let me pull up Steam real quick. What else do I have in here? I can't remember if I put anything else. That might, that might be it. Yeah, those are the only, those are the only games I have in my cart right now. All the Yuri's? I have to look up the Yuri games. Have I played Hades? Yes, I actually have played Hades before. I played it before I was a streamer. You some adult VN Henty games as well. I don't um Okay. I don't buy them on Steam if I am gonna play any adult games. Because Steam already recommends me a shit ton of hentai games. And I don't want to see that on my Steam. And also, people can see when you play those. So, like, if I'm going to play a hentai game, it's going to be, like, I'm downloading it directly from a site versus, um, like, having it just open there on Steam for everyone to see. But I really don't have time to play those kinds of games anymore. Oh, my God. Those sevens at the bottom were so close. But yeah, genuinely, what I'm really lacking is time. Like, time to play games. I did have Project Diva in my cart. But I don't know. Because I already played Project Sakai. And so, I don't know if, like, I want to play Project Diva. Because, like, yeah, it's, like, it's a, it's a pretty good discount on it. But it's still, like, $30. Like, I don't know if I'm going to play it. No, no, no. I don't... I don't... No, 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 no. Listen. Again? What? Bro, how many times have I... This is like the fourth time. Um, no, I don't download them off of sussy websites. I, I download them off of like proper websites. Like, uh, like what? Denpasoft? Like, like off of like software websites. No, support the artist, man. <laughs> you gotta support the industry. <laughs> like... My time to shine. I don't know. I've never been really big on, um on pirating programs it's just it's just not something i've been like uh like super super big on especially not like indie stuff because i feel like usually indie games and like those kinds of games are more of like passion projects versus um like you know triple a productions so i'd rather do what i can to at least support the industry like if you have the money no i i i mean the sims right now is free the base game is free so like you can just buy the sims for free but um i do have mods on my sims but i don't know it's just bro we were so close again to sevens um pay for indie pirate the corporate overlords i can't condone piracy because i'm streaming right now but you know if there's a will there's a way and I'll leave it at that. In case any of these companies want to sponsor me. So I can't... So I can't say anything. <laughs> it's, getting interesting. it's getting interesting. But yeah, support indie games. If you have the means, I say just support. If you don't, do whatever you want. Uh, Mark Gizzle, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Thank you, thank you. You only get one of those a month. Thank you so freaking much for using it on me. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Play Fortnite. God, Fortnite. 
You like buying all the fancy, uh, you like buying all the indie games you fancy? Yeah. Sims, I'm open to a sponsorship. <laughs> Hey man, if EA wants to sponsor me, I'll play Sims on stream. I have to delete some of my mods though, because I don't think I could show them on stream. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bro, we're so close to 10,000. Your mod? <laughs> Goodbye, mods. What is another good, like, story based game for stream? Should I pick up the Yakuza series again? I think like that's like a hella investment though. I kind of like the end. Oh, you know what game I was kind of considering? The um, Steins Gate franchise, because I've never played it. Can you play Souls? Like, I'm not a huge fan of Souls games. I I feel like they're they're too much for me. It's hard. I actually, oh my god, Ace, you, you summer child. I actually played, I think, like 60 hours worth of like a dragon on stream before I was a Genshin streamer. So I think we were only averaging like 20 back then. Diablo, I, no guys, I need pretty games. Please, I need the game to be pretty. What about Steins Gate? Gamers, how, how, how you guys feel about Steins, Steins Gate? I know it's an older franchise, but I never played it. Matt, thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you for freaking months. Gamer, I appreciate that, thank you. Watch the anime instead. Watching anime, bro, that's so cringe. Someone play Planet of Lana? I don't think I've heard of that. Doki Doki Plus Edition. We actually played it already, Kreis. Kreis, it's actually on YouTube. I put the whole playthrough on YouTube. Oh my god, I saw the cutest comment on YouTube. Let me pop it up. I like, my heart was full when I read this YouTube comment. One second. It was on my eight hour Doki Doki Literature Club VOD. And, and genuinely, like, I, I, like, just, it made me giggle. I was, like, really happy about it. Like, genuinely, like, it really made my night. Let me find it. Where is it? I gave it, I gave it a little heart. A cheeky little heart. Where to go? Um, they said, where is it? Where is it? Where's the comment? Hello? Okay. They said, under newest first. I somehow watched the entire thing from start to finish in one go. And that was really something. And your stream is incredibly fun to watch, Mina. And then they put a smiley face. And I don't know. I like almost started crying. I just thought that was so sweet. Because that's like an eight hour VOD, bro. I don't know. It was just really sweet. I think I was in call with my friends and I made them, I made them read it. I'm like, guys, look how cute this is. No Nary game? I don't think I've heard of that. Like a dragon Ishin? Wait, what's like a dragon Ishin? Like Yakuza like a dragon? Valkyria Chronicles? Hmm. AI Sominium. Isn't that also by Danganronpa people? Uh, Chunsoft or whatever it's called? The VN with puzzles. More puzzles. You actually started to watch me because of the Doki Doki stream? Really? I like VNs. I think VNs are fun. But thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the Doki Doki stream. I genuinely really love that game. It was such a fun first playthrough. The new Dongan again. Yeah, I know. I pre-ordered it. But my pre-ordered copy isn't coming until the 17th because I got the limited edition. And so, yeah. And I don't want to buy the digital because I already paid like 100 plus for the limited. And so I don't want to spend another 60 to get the digital version so I could play it now when I know it's coming later. And I'm just like suffering because I want to play it because I heard it's great and I want to play it. And they even said streamers can play it on stream up to chapter four. So like I would love to play it on stream with you guys, but I have to wait. I'm so sad. probably watch your doki doki playthrough you like watching first playthroughs i enjoy doing first playthroughs i think they're just fun to experience things with you guys why only up to chapter four it's like a uh, persona they only recently lifted being able to play past i think chapter three um they want to keep the game like as spoiler free as possible so like the ending is usually like where it gets wild so they want to leave that up for people to experience personally they'd rather not have streamers um 
expose like what happens like the twist at the very end i do have cult of the lamb we did try it before it was very hades-esque Yeah, so you buy the game. Yeah, so they want you to buy the game. <laughs> we get more sevens. We haven't gotten one in a minute. Those guidelines will definitely be in effect when metaphor. Hey yo, rise and shine, earth sign. When metaphor re fantasio. There's so many games. I need, like, another Xenoblade-esque game to come out that I can play. I freaking love Xenoblade. Bum, ba -da -bum. Have I played Fire Emblem Awakening all right? Um, I don't think I have. The only Fire Emblem games I have played in full are Fire Emblem Three uh, Houses and Fire Emblem um, Awake, uh, Engage are the only ones I've played. Last of Us, but I know you don't like horror games. I don't like horror games. I'm so sorry. I am not a horror game person at all. The prologue of game is very long. Which which game? Persona 3 Reloaded. I've never played any Personas. Doki Doki wasn't really horror though. Like Doki Doki's level of horror, I'm I'm okay with um with psychological horror. I think that's fine. Like psychological thrillers. I think those are fun. I don't like jump scare horror. Because I don't know. I just don't find that fun. Like, I don't think it's fun to be on edge all the time because you're going to get jump scared. I like it more where it's like unsettling because like something is not adding up. Awakening is the shipper's dream. Oh, really? Silent Hill then? No. No, thank you. Uh, guys, listen. I have I have like prereqs for for how I can enjoy a game. It needs to be pretty. It needs to be pretty. And it needs to be pretty. I need at least one sippable character in every game I play. I, I need to be like emotionally attached to to a specific character to play the game. Um, one VN that I really, really, really actually like. Let me see if I could find it. I played it by myself. I played it with some friends actually. Uh, Corpse Factory. I really enjoyed Corpse Factory. I played that offline or off stream, but I really enjoyed that VN. You don't understand people's obsession with jump scare games? Me either. I'm not a huge fan of jump scares. Like, I want to be able to enjoy the games I play with you guys. Decarnation? I don't think I've heard of that. I'm going to play City Car Driving with you guys one day. Maybe, maybe, I just have to find, I want to, like, tell you guys a time and then, like, not, like, go through with it. It's just so hard to find time. But yeah, I want to do a driving game with you guys where I'm going to, it's called City Car Driving. And it's literally, you just drive around. That's it. That's the entire purpose of the game. What's the hot crazy girl's name in Corpse Factory again? I can't remember, but I love her. Yeah, I got the steering wheel and pedal now. It's so fun. God, we're so close to 10,000. How long have we been doing slots? Bam, ba -da -bam. Noriko, thank you. Higurashi. I kind of want to play another, like, VN. I just think VNs are fun. I like visual novels. Like, I feel like Saturday should just be vi visual no novel days. Like, we'll start, like, another VN. That's why I was thinking Steins Gate maybe next or Omori. Oh, I was actually considering Ace Attorney. I've never played any Ace Attorney games. Every day is visual novel day. <laughs> is Ace Attorney good? Objection! Can I get sevens, please? A world has ended or Phoenix Wright would be good. It's getting, it's getting interesting. Visual novels are games like Fire Emblem which have visual novel elements. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I know Ace Attorney series is on sale right now too. I might buy that. 
They're making a new one too? Really? Making so many games. So little time. What a vibe. Baby, are you coming for the ride? Hypnotized by the lights. Have I played Ori? Like Ori in the Blind Forest or whatever? No, I have not. They just announced a four to six collection for Ace Attorney. Really? Oh, that's cool that they're remastering the DS ones. I used to have a DS. You guys have a game I loved on my, my DS when I was a kid. Pokemon Mystery Dungeons. I was like obsessed with Mystery Dungeon as a kid. The DS was the peak of handheld gaming. It really was. I love the DS. I used to play like Nintendogs. I used to play freaking Big Brain Academy. I used to play Mystery Dungeon. Pokemon Rangers was great. Oh my god, I love Pokemon Rangers. I had Pokemon Pearl as well on DS. I had a DS Lite. I had a black DS Lite. You'll play Jonas Brothers on the DS. That's so funny. I'm actually going to see the Jonas Brothers this year. I got tickets. After story game of Danganronpa 3 it was uh, way more addictive than it should have been. Really? Oh, I'm also going to get Danganronpa S. Which I don't actually know what it is. But I saw Kaide on it. So I'm like, going to buy it because I see Kaide. And I miss her. Did she come back? Don't tell me. Don't don't answer that question. I hope she comes back. She was way too good to be only in the first chapter. Bum, 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 bum. Wonderful. Wonderful. We're six hundred away from ten thousand. Yeah, that's I'm convinced that she's the mastermind. I'm convinced. There's no way. They can't get rid of the best character in this series. Like in this entire franchise in the first chapter. I I actually refuse. S is a gotcha board game, is it? Yokai watch. Rise and shine, Ursine. I needed that, boys. I need that win. It should have been Kokichi, not Kaede. You're so right. Well, this chapter has a lot of characters with like S or uh, with K names. Kokichi, Kurumi, Kaede, Kaito. Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? That's already four. Is there anyone else? Is it just four? Kore Kyo, thank you. Kibo. Six. Six out of sixteen. For for V3 specifically. For for for, for V3 specifically. That's six! That's six K lettered names! That's so many! Rise and shiners! Nice. Rise and shine, Ursine. Wow, we're only 200 away, you guys. Naegi, Kakoto. It's my time to shine. We're so close. God, getting those sevens was wild, though. You do get the start with all the MCs and rank Mina, and you can get duped, so you will get all the S rank characters in Danganronpa S. Nice. I honestly just really like the Danganronpa franchise. I think it's really fun. It's a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be going in. 
Now I want to get like merch. Like next time I go to convention, I, I don't think people make a lot of Danganronpa merch. So I think I'll be safe. Because if I see it, I'll buy it. And like that's not good for my wallet. Never heard of it until I saw until you saw my stream. Really? You don't think Nagaropa is fun? Really? I find it I find it like so like fascinating. I see a lot of home guy. I'm more picky with um popular franchises. So like when I went to AX Chibi last year, I spent so much on Lacor's recoil because there wasn't a lot of it. So whenever I saw it, I bought it. But when it's like Genshin, I was being a lot more picky because every stall had Genshin merch. So like I would only pick the stuff I really liked because I knew there was a like a wide variety. But like I went to Katsukon um back in February and I bought everything MMJ related, like more and more jump related, because there wasn't that much. So when I saw it, I bought it. But like I can hold back on like the bigger franchises. So like I know a lot of people are making Star Rail merch. So I'm usually a lot more picky. Because, like... AGAIN?! Well... Well... Damn, we got it like five times! Let's just get to 11,000, I mean... No, I want like I want like a cute little Kaide keychain. I think genuinely, okay. Now that I've at least seen every single character of the franchise, it might be biased. Might be biased. I genuinely think my favorite character in this entire franchise is Kaide. Like, like genuinely, I think Kaide is my favorite character in the like from all three games. Kaide, um, Mikon. And, um, probably Chiaki. Because Chiaki really grew on me, like, once you finish two. And then watching Despair Arc, like, genuinely made me feel so many things for uh, for uh, Chiaki. I love Sonya, but I don't... What? Again? What? Um, I love Sonia. I don't think her character gets very fleshed out in the way that like Chiaki gets fleshed out or like even Mikon got fleshed out. Can we go home? No. <laughs> We're winning. We're on a win streak. We can't just stop now. <laughs> so you guys, this is why I'm not allowed to gamble. This is why I'm not allowed to gamble, you guys. This is exactly why this is what happens. But, um, yeah, Chiaki, like, especially watching Despair Arc made me feel things. Like, really, really deep emotions for her. But, yeah, love her. Love her, Queen. Love Chiaki. But, yeah, I really like Kaide. I, I, I just know there's so much more to her than I know. And I just, like, really want to get to know more about her, even though, like, she's no longer here with us, allegedly. Hello, Steve Rogers. Welcome. Dude, it was hard to watch. Like, the ending of Despair Arc genuinely was, like, a tough watch. Bum, bum, bum. Da, da, da. I like how fast it goes when it's on, like, this one. It's like, ba, 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 bow. Why can't they all go this quick? Not a huge Sonya fan. I think that's valid. I like her. But I, I can understand that she didn't get a lot of development. I ship her with Gundam, though. I think they're cute. Again? You guys. You guys. What is this? I've never won this many times... The last time we didn't get a single seven and we've gotten like how many sevens now like 10 surely i can win as well <laughs> that's how they get you listen i'm surprised okay 
I'm not expecting the win. I'm literally not even looking at the. Like, I'm not even looking at the slots. I'm looking at chat. Like I just I hear the noise and then I look over. It's on a real seven. Oi! I don't care. So many sevens on the board. Okay, I'll stop at 13,000. You think your favorite MC aside from Kaede is Hajime? I love Hajime. I like Hajime more than I like Naegi. But... I mean, I like Shuichi. I want more development from Shuichi, though. I hope we... I, I feel like probably Chapter 5 will get pretty good Shuichi development. But for now, he's probably like, you know, third place out of the four MCs. I just love Kaede. Gone too soon, my my beloved. Your favorite MC is Komaru from Despair Girls. Oh, I haven't played Despair Girls yet, so I don't know how. how I, I I can't I can't put her on the list. Soda needed more development. Soda needed to die in like chapter two. I'm still mad Kazuichi made it till the end. Okay, I'm still annoyed Kazuichi made it till the very end. I was like, there's no way in hell this guy's making it like out of here, and he made it out alive. What? No, I like Nagito. He grew on me. Mi oh my god, Mikon, my love, my beloved Mikon. She was great. She was great. She was she was the definition of girl boss gatekeep gaslight. Nagi on bottom because you didn't play him. Honestly, probably. That's probably why. Because I only watched the anime. I don't know. Also, in number two, when he showed up at the trial, I just like I feel like he was a little mean. Um, Kazuichi, no, he came in handy to fix the elevator, uh, in chapter three. You like Sayaka? I like Sayaka, too. She was also gone too soon. Honestly, this franchise has a lot of really good characters. Does it mean Naegi was a fake? I know, but still... I love Fuyuhiko. Oh my god. I adore Fuyuhiko. Damn right. Fuyuhiko, um, Peko, miss her. Chiaki. Ooh. Wow, we got all of them, the bears. Oh my god, Hyoko was so annoying. I hate Kokichi. He is probably the one character I despise the most. Soda, like, he was just annoying. Ibuki? I wish Ibuki got more, uh, development. Her death was gone too soon as well. Mondo. Rise and Shiner sign. Okay, I think... Okay. I, I think... After this one... Okay. Now we can go buy a key. I'm gonna save before buying a key because I don't know what happens after I buy it. Okay. Crystal badge. Oh, we owned all this stuff already. Survival flag, death flag, key of love. What do these do? The black and might be one of us, so I refuse to stay with you guys. I'm gonna hide in my room. Chances of succeeding this is only 5%. No one has ever made it out alive before. This is my chance to survive. What does that do? Okay, what do I do with the key? How do I use it?
Did it did it turn nighttime from how often how how long I was in there? It's nighttime. Can I use it in here? Where do I use it? How do I use it? How do I use it? There's a special place for it. It's random. Spend time with others till you have to sleep. Wait, then should I say what? Okay, well, who am I gonna? Okay, can we talk to Maki yet? Let me see. Okay, she's in her dorm. So we'll go there. Maki! 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 Maki. Hey, babes. Can't just ignore what she said. She sounded really upset. Hey. What is it? Hey. Uh, it's all. If it's all right with you, do you want to talk? Stay away from me. I'm staying away from you and the others. So just pretend I'm not even here. Slam. Well. If I still can't talk to her, at least if we metagame, we know she's living for the next round. Because I can't even talk to her to unlock her next hope fragment. Alright, well, we maxed out... We maxed out Miyu already. So, I guess we can just do Sumugi. How about we hang around with Kirumi? Um... I, I don't know how to tell you this, but she died last chapter. We already we maxed out Miyu already. That reminds me. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if Monokuma's still bald. It's not that I'm worried about him. It's just that he's plain disgusting like that. Oh. Well, Monokuma doesn't matter. Let's drink some tea together. Kokichi, bleh. I drank some tea with Sumugi. Sumugi and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, we'll give her a present. She likes doll wigs, correct? I think we have some, because she's a cosplayer. What is this? Oh, okay. She loves it. She loves it, guys. We're so good. We're so good at giving presents out. Thank you, thank you so much. Those are the only words I can say. Uh... You're weird, Shui. Well. Huh? Uh... You wanted to hang out with plain old me when everyone else is so flashy. Hmm. Mugi, you keep calling yourself plain, but I don't really think you are. No. No, I'm plain. I know it, so you don't have to worry about being polite. I'm not trying to be polite. Actually. Most people are surprised when they finally notice me. They're like, whoa, where'd the girl with where'd this girl with glasses come from? I wonder why glasses are always associated with plain characters. That's... Well, when you think about quiet and smart kids, you picture them in glasses. But... There's a bunch of athletic kids with glasses though, like in sports anime. You can't! But the characters with glasses are never allowed to take them off. Not even once. It's like they say glasses are just like underwear. I have definitely never heard that before. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, uh, why were we talking about glasses again? Ah, uh, you started it. Um, oh, right. We were talking about how I'm so plain. Uh, okay. Um, I'll tell you just how plain I am. When I go into a crowded store, nobody notices I'm there. When I want to check out, I need to try really hard to get the clerk's attention. That's not so bad. That's normal in crowded stores. It happens to me. Seems when I go to theme parks with friends, I'm so plain, they lose sight of me. Uh, um, That's not your fault either. Theme parks can get pretty hectic. It's plain to see. But I always have a sewing kit and two plain white handkerchiefs on me. Hmm. 
You consider that plain? I think it's good to be a good thing to be prepared. What? Huh? Why is she making that face? It looks like she's bothered by something. Stop! I'm just letting you I'm just letting you know, but my list of plainness doesn't end there. Once you hear the rest, you'll think, oh man, she's so plain. Why is she so insistent with this? Right? First off, when the teacher is taking attendance in class, they'll skip me. I have to make sure I get counted or I'll be marked as absent. Doesn't that suck? It's plain to see. Then whenever people are splitting into teams, I get picked last because I'm plain. Then when I go into town on my day off, I get stuck behind people on the street who don't notice me because I'm plain. And then I go to a store and none of the clerks try to help me because I'm plain. Because I'm plain is quickly becoming your catchphrase, Samugi. It reminds me. And it's not just the handkerchiefs. My underwear is white too because I'm plain. Uh, underwear? Actually. Even if I get on the train without a ticket, nobody notices because I'm so plain. Also, I can get into movie theaters without a ticket because I'm plain. Wait. But, but that's illegal. <laughs> Just kidding. I bet I could do it though. I'm so plain. I don't have much of a presence. That's why I'm an international spy. Leave, an, leave any undercover ops to me. Huh? A spy? Jeez. That was a joke too. I didn't think you'd fall for that one. Or did you just pretend to? Are you more of a jokester than I thought? No, it's not quite that. There could be a real spy among the ultimates here after all. Shuichi. Be careful of cults and con artists. I'm worried you'll get taken in. But Smooky looks like she's having fun, so I guess it's all right. Aw. Smooky and I parted ways and I returned to my room. You two should sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Uh, the three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? Oh, 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 as close oh. as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in a triple bunk bed. Yeah. But whoever's in the top bunk might fall out of the bed and die. Uh, I don't know if we're that close. Nighttime. I have training with Kaito. We haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're gonna do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. I'm just gonna keep saving in case it pops up to go to the, the love hotel. Just in case, you know? Mikan and Hajime shared a bed a few times. Why is Angie so sus all the time? Hmm? Where are you going? Huh? Nowhere in particular. What about you, Angie? I... Was just talking to the others. Uh, maybe... Since they can't hear Atua's voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Uh, um... Atua! Atua was touched by everyone's feelings, so he said we must preserve the peace here. Nyahaha! I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make this academy a paradise. Bye, Yonara! Bye, Yonara! Hey guys, bye Anara. Himiko's magic show was Angie's idea as well. What is she planning this time? Bye Anara. Hmm. Looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then suddenly, yo. Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Huh? <gasps> Maki. Maki? Why is Maki here? Like I'd know. That's what I'd like to know. Someone here kept buzzing my intercom and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. Then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. We're gonna train. It's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training? The three of us? Is that the, really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. I'm going back. Huh. You calling this stupid? Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train. Train, then train some more. That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. 
that you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. Uh, um, All the examples you could have picked. I'm right already. Did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? This is stupid. I'm going back. Hold up. Hold on a sec. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know. Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. The same goes for both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't, so why are you being so difficult? Hey, so How long are you gonna run away? Uh <gasps> Damn, Kaito. Damn. Ooh. Ooh, shots fired. Oh my god. <laughs> Maki needs a nurse because she's been shot. <laughs> huh? Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. I mean, you're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so what's your enemy? What? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Seriously? Yeah, Come you've been on. running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. God damn! But if you want to stand against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. Oh my god, oh my god, wait, this is the new sprite for her. We haven't seen this expression. Maki's getting angry. Kaito is just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey. So what are you gonna do? Kaito. It's okay, you don't have to. Okay, okay. Oh! Huh? You'll do it? Then don't get the wrong idea. Oh, she's so cute! He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Huh. So you do get it. <sighs> the only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. What? You don't get it at all. Huh. Whatever. Just get, uh, you just get, you better, la, 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 la. you just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Hey. Well, what are we going to do first? All right. 100 push-ups. Aww. Somehow Maki ended up joining us, and the three of us trained together. I think he should change his outfit, maybe like to like a normal shirt. Not bad. Are they gonna show us Maki so doing push-ups? You're getting better. Hey Kaito, no slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. I'm counting your reps. I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. Supposed to do 100. I thought we were doing 100. <laughs> hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so... 91, 92, <laughs> 93, 94. <laughs> Let's go, Maki. Let's go. What? That fast? Oh, my God. Let, look at her go. God damn. It's freaking swole. Satisfied? 100. I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. Y you're done already? What? You're not even out of breath. I have guess you trained before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, that's... B before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... Kaito, that was the best lie you could come up with. Hey. Anyway, I'm done. And you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay. We're doing training tomorrow, too. You better be there. Aww. Maki ignored Kaito and left without a word. Jeez. Why she gotta be so difficult? Um. Kaito, why did you do all this? To help her? Mm -hmm. If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, um. Weak and suffering? Maki? That's right. Well, in that sense, you're... Nah. nah, your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up! 
N nothing. Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Uh. Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kaito. Aw. Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Ah, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Hmm. Kaito bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kaito, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself, and eventually I drifted to sleep. I don't think I can save now. Curious what we Moto Cubs do when you're not around? I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and, and lounge in the air in an air-conditioned room. And when we go out together, they usually make me steal. See, we're such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. Ooh, Hero shouldn't be asleep on the job. It's pathetic. Yeah. What? What? Although it's technically still night, do you feel well rested anyway? Huh? Monokuma? Yeah. What, what's going on? Nice face, Shuichi. You definitely look like, uh, look your best in the morning. Oh, this is the love key event? Too bad. You could look better, though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. How rude. My time is very valuable, you know. Since you fell asleep, still clutching the love key, I went out of my way to come wake you. I really wish you'd be more appreciative. Wait, I got Monokuma? Uh, um... Wait, I got the bear? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, he can tell me how to use it. Okay. How to use it? <laughs> the key opens the way to a very special place. A place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino, hint hint. Oh right, that building. I suppose I would have this kind of key. You look like you figured it out. Thrilling. Good. Healthy teenagers' brains is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. Now then. That key uh, you got there should help you clear out some of those carnal huh? desires. Oh, are you starting to get worked up? Are you ready to let it all hang out? Now then, please read the instructions. This is the key. You can use it to unlock love suites. When night falls, you and one other person are invited to love suite. You will be part of that person's fantasy. When you see... They will see you as their ideal, so basically just swoon all over you. Think of it as a kind of dream that lets you escape this cruel dark reality. If you do something that breaks character, the other person will wake up in anguish. And what happens there stays there. Memories are wiped when you exit. It's like a one night stand within a dream. Probably best that you both forget it. Hmm? Oh, you seem kind of skeptical. Why don't you try it out for yourself then? <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, do I save now? I can't save now. It won't let me. I watched Monokuma bounce away, stunned. The key felt heavy in my hand. Can I save? I can't save right now. So, I, I saved right before the cutscene, so I could always just, like, skip. Oh my god, you guys, I'm scared. Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? No, 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 I'm not playing that. No. Heck no. No, 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 
That I'm gonna throw up. That was the, the, the literally. That was that was worse. That the the bottom two, Kokichi, Kyo. Those were literally the two I did not want. And and you were telling me, like at least anyone else, I'd be at least interested in hearing what would happen. I didn't want. Oh God. Oh. Bleh. Oh my god, that was so gross. Okay. Thank you for hydrate. Now I just gotta zoom through this stuff. Hmm. Okay, is there any way I can go faster? Is there any way I can skip through this? Oh, yes, holding control. Oh, control, such a sexy button, you guys. I can't believe I got Kyo, bro. Can't believe I got Kyo. I'll cry if I get Kyo again. Dun, dun, dun. I love Beautiful Lie as a soundtrack. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Woo. Okay, chat. Miyu, Miyu, Miyu. Maki. Miyu, Maki, Sum Sum Sumugi. Those are the ones we want, all right? One of those three, preferably. Please, not Kyo again. Tenko? Like, I'll play through it, but, like, we'll go back. And restart. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal. Like some shared fantasy. Oh, Tenko hates men. What am I getting myself into? Hmm. Whoa, what's going on? Huh? What do you mean? Listen up. Brother Shuichi, please explain. Huh? Brother Shuichi? What's wrong? Huh? Why do you look so surprised? Because... Well, I'm not your brother, so... No. Yes, you are. As comrades of the Neo Akito art, our bond is thicker than blood. You are my senior disciple. I mu I take much pride in fighting alongside you. You're different from the degenerate maggots around here. You're amazing. So that's what this fantasy is about? Well, at least I'm not going to get thrown. Huh. Well, brother, what's going on? Huh? This is weird. I don't know what you mean. Um... I already told you. You can You can do anything you want to me today. Uh, what? Did you hear me? I said you can do anything you want to me today. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Is, is this something I we, we agreed to do? You gotta be kidding me. Yep. When you won the sparring match, we agreed that you could do anything you want to me. We fought under those conditions, right? <gasps> and if I won, I could do anything I wanted to you. But there was no chance of me winning. Your immense strength can match even masters. I won against Tenko? Only in a dream, I suppose. Tenko would never lose to a man unless... Well, in any case, she said I, that I can do what I want. Inside Tenko's fantasy, we have that kind of relationship? Listen up. Right here, right now. Let's get started on our bet. But why aren't you doing anything to me yet? My body is ready. No. Uh, well, that may be the case, but I couldn't ask you to. That's amazing! Oh, so wonderful. I knew you would say that, Brother Shuichi. You're nothing like those degenerate males who only fantasize about sex. Listen up. To think that you view me as your precious little sister, I am truly honored. But a deal is a deal. I took on this challenge with all my soul as the ultimate Aikido master. You must accept the outcome and use your fair rights as the winner. Uh, um... I'm no ready. buts. Be a man and do whatever you want. She's serious about this. She really is a competitive girl. But... Tenko, I can't do anything to you. 
And besides, if I can't do anything, that means I can't- I can do nothing, right? <laughs> We're so noble. I respect you for that. But now, I'm angry. You're an insensitive degenerate male. Huh? What? Huh. Don't you get it? I... I'm ready! <laughs> <laughs> I really want you to do whatever you want. I challenged you because I love you. I made a bet with you just for that reason. Huh? I knew it. You had no idea. Uh, okay. I knew it. Your love is only... Uh, you, you, your only love is Neo Akito. Why? I tried so hard to get you to notice me, but you never looked my way. That's why this was the only thing I could do. Sorry. No need to apologize. I will accept this punishment for my foolishness. But, um... Denko looked down and huffed out a breath, then shot her eyes up at me. Brother Shuichi, I, I, I love you. Ah! <laughs> I said it. I can't believe I finally said it. I'm almost positive that you already did. All right, Shuichi. From now on, no more insensitivity from you, okay? Because I, I finally told you. I confess my deepest desires and feelings to you. What a sweet home Okinawa. That's true. I'm being completely serious. I want to be yours and yours alone. Okay. So, brother Shuichi, if you ever want to, you know, you can do anything you want to me. Um. Anytime, any place, and I'll be ready. I guess that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna... Wait, is there anything else here? Or... Okay, I'm gonna cancel. And we're gonna see who else I can get. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get... We need to get the other girly pops. Come on, we need Miyu. Miyu Maki. Miyu Maki, Miyu Maki, and Sumugi. I want all three of them. Miyu's is so good. What if you get Kibo, Kaito, Gonta? We skip until I get the girly pops. Hmm. I feel like we already saw Kibo's, lol. I feel like Miyu's is very entertaining. That's why I really want to see me use. Well, I love hitting control. I wish I could like save after this point, but I literally can't. Dun, dun, dun. Or can I? I can! Oh my god, I, I found a way to save? It's like, you have to like, find like... Little moments. Okay, well I already saved right here. Um, Adachira, thank you so much for the two months! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, thank you so much for the tier one. Okay. At least I don't have to go through the whole montage again. Come on, Miyu. 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 Who is it? Get me out of here. 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 No, no, not again. Not again, bro. Not again. How do we get him again? How do we get him again? E1 Kyo. No, stop. Not Kyo again, dude. I hate him. This is karma due to the lucky Gamba. No. Please, I don't want to get E6 Kyo, bro. I don't like him. He's chasing you. I, I do not want. 
At least we're like, I got to a decent saving point. Uh, why can't I? Why is it not letting me hit control? It's not letting me hit control. Hmm. Why is it not letting me control? It's not letting me control my way out. How come it's not letting me control? Why isn't it letting me hit control? Bruh. Did I break it? Too many resets? Huh? Well, if I hold down on left click, it works. But it's not as fast as control. Bro, come on. Why, why is my control broken? Huh? Game's like, oh, you think you outsmarted me? Well, stop giving me Keo. <laughs> Alright, come on. <sighs> Please, not Keo. Can I, like, load? Okay, so I don't have to close the file. Okay. I still can't hit control, though. Hmm. Let me hit control. Let me hit control. Let me speed through this. Come on. Please, just give me Mew. Huh? All I want is Mew. Can I get a character that died already? Can I get Kaide? Is that possible? Guys, can I? Huh? Can it be my fantasy and I get her? Hmm? <laughs> Why is my control broken, bro? Hmm. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, me you. Me you. Oh, Angie. Is Angie is worth the watch? Or do I or do I or do I reset? Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. I wonder what An I wonder what Angie's fantasy is, with her head always full of a tua. Tuichi, I'm bored, 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 bored. I outrank you, so if I don't do something about my boredom, I have to punish you. Uh, um, you outrank me? Of course, of course. That's right. I have seniority because I'm older and wiser than you. Hmm? Why are you pretending to play dumb? Is this a new game we're playing? No. We're the same age, but in Angie's fantasy, she has seniority? Well, I have to act the part. I don't want Angie to feel bad. Come on, come on. Look, Suichi, look how bored I am. Atua has Okay. A low rank who lets a high rank be bored gets points deducted. Uh, um... Before I can concoct a plan, Angie gave me an answer of sorts. Angie slammed her body into me, knocking me over. Um. Wait. Angie, what are you doing? The bed creaked as we toppled onto it. I tried to get to my feet, but... Yeah. Gotcha, Shuichi! Angie giggled like a schoolgirl as she straddled my knee. Uh, well, more like my thigh. Hey. 
Uh, Angie, you're not a kid. Get off. This is the divine bed. I think we can have fun here. Nope. She's not listening. Hey, hey, Shuichi. Angie peeked at me with teasing eyes. Uh... What's po- ah! <laughs> <gasps> No. 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 There's no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. No, 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 no. This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Huh? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> what? Could it be? I don't know. I don't know. Please, no jokes like that while we're in this position. Well, then. I want to play some more. Uh, um, what are you trying to play? Uh, you know, the usual. Since you won't come up with something fun to do, we'll play the usual game. Huh? The usual? Eh? You're still not used to our game? I... That's okay. You always do whatever I tell you. That's what I like about you the most. Ugh. Angie leaned forward and embraced me. Of course, with the way she was positioned, her chest pushed right against my face. <laughs> Wait. Uh, um, Angie, you're touching. Uh, yep. I know. I'm doing it on purpose. Oh my god. <gasps> <Huh? Wait. laughs> because. Oh my god. I like you, Shuichi. I like watching you get filled with divine fervor. Angie straightened her body, peeking down at me with an impish smile. Oh my god. I recognize that smile, but it felt a bit naughtier than usual. So? Hey, Shuichi, what do you want me to do to you today? Huh? What do I want you to do? I... I want to see you get filled with divine fervor just like this. Huh? A shiver ran down, uh, ran through my body. Angie's fingertips danced against the nape of my neck. Bro! Uh, um... What are you doing? <laughs> you like that, huh, Shuichi? I know you do. Atua told me so. Still smiling, her fingers began tracing over my body. Lower, lower still. Angie is small. I could probably throw her off if I wanted to. But those fingers, I felt totally helpless. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> hey! Hey! You can't talk to a high rank like that. Atua will get angry, you know. Oh my god. So I'll punish you instead. I'll meet out punishment in Atua's place. Uh, Angie. Uh, Angie. Um, look. what is she doing? You're so cute, Shuichi. I'm the only one who gets to see the side of you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough punishment. <laughs> it seems Atua is satisfied. <laughs> he got caught. Bro, he got cooked! That's a relief. She was getting pretty close. Now it's your turn. Uh, Make sure I have lots of fun, okay? Uh, uh, Time to play, Shuichi. Play until we've reached sweaty salvation. That was that was that was great. That was that was great. Um that was that was oh my god. That was that was that was a, that was a scenario and a half. Oh my goodness. Please let me skip. It's still not letting me use my control key. I guess the save file's not letting me. Okay, maybe if I start saving like over here. Oh. Maybe if I save like this slot. I really 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 a new save file let me okay please me you me you me you me you
Um, I feel like Gonta would destroy Shuichi's asshole. I just, I just feel like he would absolutely destroy Shuichi in half, bro. Like, <laughs> dude, like Shuichi will get destroyed. <laughs> I kind of want to know what happens. Maybe she looks so dead inside. Allow Gonta. Gonta will do best to be Suichi's companion. Uh, hey. Hungry? Need Gonta to carry your luggage? Gonta's plenty strong. No. No, I didn't bring anything with me. What is going on here exactly? What you mean? It's normal for gentlemen to be gentle with woman. Hmm. A woman, uh. I suppose I meant to play a woman. I know I'm supposed to be a good partner, but this is going to be difficult. Maybe. Oh, you don't like it? You're right. Gonta shouldn't force Shuichi to, into lady role just for practice party. Huh? Huh? I'm not supposed to be a lady? Huh? Huh? You're not a woman, are you? Sorry. Is Shuichi really a woman? Sorry, Gonta should have noticed sooner. No. N no, I'm a man. Thank goodness. Oh, okay, good. Gonta wouldn't want to, uh, wouldn't know what to do if Gonta upset Shuichi on accident. What is going on? <laughs> if you, uh, you want to practice for the part, right? I'm happy to help you. Mm. Shuichi is so nice. Gonta wishes he could return the favor somehow. Oh yeah. Practice on Gonta. Huh? Gonta do his best. Gonta never behaved like lady before, but Gonta will do his best if you let him. Gonta. Aw, Gonta! No way! But what Gonta's supposed to do? Shuichi be being so nice to Gonta. Wait! Gonta, it's alright, really. It's fine, just settle down. That not good. Gonta grabbed my shoulders hard. I couldn't handle the weight and... Uh. We fell onto the bed behind us, limbs entangled. Uh, um... I had fallen on my back and Gonta was right above me, breathing hard. I couldn't move. Gonta's massive body on top of mine was too intimidating. Ah! Huh? Gonta's body jerked upwards as if pulled by an un some unseen force, jumping back a few feet. Are you okay? Gonta, idiot. Gonta, not okay. Not okay at all. How could Gonta do this? No. Gonta, don't worry about it. You just surprised me a little. That's all. No can do that. Gonta does worry. It is unforgivable for gentlemen to mistreat lady. I'm still playing the lady, huh? No. No, even if Shuichi not lady is still bad. Gonta scares Shuichi. Still long way to go before Gonta can be gentleman. You might not believe Gonta, but Gonta not ever wanna hurt you. Yeah, I know. I stood and walked up to him. I could still see his shoulders trembling. Hey, I'm just fine, okay? Let's keep practicing for the party. Shuichi, thank you. Gonta, be perfect companion this time. Gonta, take care of you. Thank you, Gonta. Are they gonna kiss? Fired by Gonta's impeccable manners, I reciprocated and offered my hand. He may not look the part, but I'm convinced Gonta is polite and kind. A gentleman. Um, what would gentlemen say? Gonta, keep you up all night. That might not be completely accurate. Um... Well... Okay. Well, I can't... Hmm. Why? Let me save scum, bro. Let me, let me, let me use control.
Okay, so I have to save for it to let me skip. All right, we'll get Miyu, right? We'll get Miyu, right, you guys? I feel like Miyu will go all the way. She's crazy. Come on, Miyu. 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 No, no, no. No, 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 no. E1 Gonta. Gonta wanted more. The way if I want to use control, I have to just save. Okay. Come on, Miu. Can I stop getting the boys, please? I just want Miu. <gasps> Maki, let's go. Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. We got Maki. Nice. Perfect. Okay. I'll still refresh after this one just so we can we can get Miu. And then like once I get Miu, I can stop. And we can continue the the, the you know. Okay, we, we read this part already. Hey. Oh my god. Hey. Huh? Uh hey. Jeez. Still don't know anything, even after we've been together for over ten years. Hmm. What's wrong? Right before you entered elementary school, you came to the orphanage, remember? Uh, um... Yeah, I remember. I see. Maki and I are friends from the orphanage. I have to pretend that I don't know Maki's an assassin. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? Is it something I said? No. <sighs> she's so cute! Look at, like She has like a little blush on her! I don't know why you're making that face. I don't get you. But... Do you think... That you should? Did I say something? Maki is blushing. What happened? Because. Uh, I didn't know that you thought about things like that. This whole time, I never noticed. Huh? Things like that? Hey! Y you! You're the worst! You're, you're the worst ever! What, where did this Where did this come from? What is it? What? Are, are you trying to get me to say? It's all because you said that when we played house. The younger kids are copying us. Said something? What was it? You. You're usually so unreliable, but then you had to say that all of a sudden. What a pain. Y you said you didn't want to play house anymore, but instead start a real family. When did you start thinking about that? I never even noticed it before. Huh? I said what? What are you trying to pull? That means you and I. Well, you must have said that seriously, knowing the type of guy you are. You don't lie, and you would never do anything to make someone sad. I already know that. I wasn't with you for this long just for your looks. That's why I... Maki stopped pouring her heart out and looked down. Hmm. Maki, what's wrong? Hey. Give me your hand. Huh? My hand? Like this? Maki squeezed her hand, her hands around mine, as if trying to envelop it. Uh, um... This is... definitely strange. When I think about you... When I hold your hand... When I touch you... You're holding hands. I'm happy, but I'm scared. I'm satisfied with so little, but at the same time... I want more. What's more? I don't understand. This is the first time... I've ever felt this way. Yeah, unprotected hand holding right now. I felt Maki's hands tighten around mine. Hey, Shuichi, there's still a lot I don't understand, but I'm certain about some things. Are they gonna kiss? I don't want to let you go. I'll stay by your side forever, close enough to hold your hand. I want to cuddle just the Aww. two of us. If this is what families do, then I want to do that. Oh. That's what it means to love, right? 
Maki. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. After you said you wanted to start a family, I thought about it. You're my friend from the orphanage. You've always been there for me. That's normal, but not at the same time. You think about me. I think about you too. We stay together after all this time. This is probably just a miracle, but miracles turn to false hope eventually. Aki stared into my eyes. Her gaze was serious, so re resolute. I felt it in my bones. I don't want to lose anything. You or Oh, Maki! That's why I want you to promise me. Not just a marriage proposal, but something that lets me feel more. Maki had made her decision. I needed to make mine. I took a deep breath to prepare my heart and nodded with a smile. Oh, that, that hurt my heart a little bit. Made that one the canon save file? No, I need to- I need Miu's. I- I need Miu's, okay? That was a nice one. That was a nice one. We still need to reload, okay? Do you guys really want to watch me go through 10k gambling again? Mew, 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 Go, go away, go, go away, go away, literally go away. Go the frick away, Kyo. I hate you. Why do you keep showing up? There's no way. There's no way. Literally, literally, like E3, Kyo. I hate this. I hate this so much. Just let me be free. Let me be free from, from Kyo, bro. I don't, I hate him. I don't care if he wants some love. I don't want to give him any love. Come on, Miu. Miu, where are you? Please get rid of Kyo. Please get rid of him. I don't want to see him. Come on, Miu. 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 Angie. We already did you. Why am I only getting repeats? Can I get some new people, please? That's E1, Angie, no? And, like, it's so annoying that I have to go hit, like, save again for me to be able to, like, zoom past everything. Mew's just SSR. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> no, but literally. Please, Mew. Please, Mew. You come home, you. If I like save right here, will that ruin my save file? It's a miracle you haven't gone Kokichi yet. Why would you? Why would you put that into the universe? Hmm. Come on, please, Miu, Miu, Miu. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. 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 This is gonna be our save. This is gonna be our file. We're continuing after this, like with no problem. Finally. How many how many times have I reset for this, you guys? How much save scumming have we done? Maki, now Miyu. I'm good. This is the one. This is this one. This is this is the one that's going to be the one that matters. This is this is it. This is this is gonna be the official save. Like our official going forward. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reset after this. 
we, okay, yeah, we, we've done this one. You know. Hey, Shuichi. Huh? What is it? <laughs> I got some fan-freaking-tastic news that'll put a smile on your face. Hehehe. <laughs> and since we're childhood friends, you're getting an exclusive inside scoop. So you better feel a real freaking special. Okay. Uh, okay. I see. So we're childhood friends and her... Wow, why are all of them childhood friends? That's why she's being so nice to me. I, I should be nice to her too. If I'm not careful, she might wake up. You know. So yeah, about this news. They're just... What's going on? Why did she get quiet all of a sudden? Um. You... 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 You? You, you, you can... Have your way with me if you want. Huh? I, I can what? Why you? You didn't hear me? You're such an asshole. I said you could have your way with me, you freaking asshole. No. No, I heard you. I just I don't understand. Why? Why? It's just that this is so sudden. I. I... It's only because I want to thank you, Shuichi. Huh? I mean, what's a better reward for a man Out of my way. than this slim and sexy-ass body of mine? You know what I'm saying. No. I'm going to ignore that last bit. So why do you want to thank me? What was that? Huh? You really don't know? And you call yourself my childhood friend? That's... I'm sorry. I really don't know. Um... Don't, don't laugh, okay? Okay. All right. I won't laugh. Um... You won't shout at me. Leave it to me. Of course I won't. Don't worry. Ever since we were kids, Shuichi, you've always taken care of me, you know? You held my hand everywhere we went. You stayed by my side no matter what. And you're still doing that for me. You're the one who sees past my act and knows the real me, Shuichi. I see. We must be very close in this fantasy. Um... If I didn't have you in my life, I'd probably be in the gutter or something. You're the reason I can hold my head up high as the ultimate inventor. And so, I wanted to thank you. But you said you didn't need my inventions, that I should use them to help people. So I don't have anything else to offer you as a thanks, except my myself. You scented, sputtered out, half-spoken. Her face was cherry red. Um... No, that's just an excuse. W what I really want is... Your ba- What?! What?! Ooh. What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa there. Whoa there, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a, wait a, hold the brakes right there. She just went straight to babies? What in the darling in the Fronx is this? What in the Japanese baby crisis is this? She wants your baby? You want my child? Um, well... Huh? What the hell's so hard to understand? God, you're so freaking embarrassing. With my beauty, brains, and talent and your winning personality? Why, that's the recipe for the perfect child. Ha <laughs> ha! Both of the be best of both worlds, baby. I fucking rule! We just gotta give the kid the right education, let him invent whatever, and we're set for life. Are you going to freak up my perfect plan for our future? Or is it... You don't want that future with me? No, I want it. You won't let me be your girlfriend, Shuichi? Because you don't need me? No. Is that it? No, we need you. No. I don't want you to abandon Oh my gosh, she wants to baby trap him. So we... We gotta make a baby. Uh, um... To make sure you won't abandon me. This is the only way. Is that how she truly feels? On, please. I uh, just uh, want you. Uh, I need you inside me, Shuichi. Uh, 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 she said it. She said the thing. Guys, she said the thing. She said the thing. Bro, she said the thing. Um Okay. That's okay, right? Please. Um uh, Of course not. 
There's no way I could do that. You motherfucker! <laughs> if you're not gonna use that dick of yours now, then when, huh? <laughs> We just appreciate the dichotomy between this and Maki's. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Come here, Shinichi. I'm gonna squeeze every last drop out of you. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my freaking god. There's no way this is real. Um... Well... I got an achievement. Yeah, Su Suichi found dead. Uh, cause of death. Squeezed to death. It is now 8 a.m. Yeah, this is now my canon save. Oh, we have to assemble in the gym. <laughs> That's right. I will not forgive that. I will not forgive that. I will use the exosols to peel your faces off like mandarin oranges. How gory. <laughs> she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Mona Fanny's blue puke will have good luck. Oh my god, we got robbed of Yuri. <gasps> we d wait, if we still had Kaede as our MC, I was robbed. Bro, I was I was robbed. Last night with Miu, was that a dream? I hope so. A crazy, wild dream. God, imagine we got Kaede and Maki and they could have kissed. Oh, sub Kaito. God, Kyo. <laughs> Bro, that was wild. That was insane. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Smoky's like always here. Oh yeah, we didn't get to see her fantasy. Yeah. Okay. I guess. I wonder what's gonna happen at the gym. I thought he fixed uh he's been killed the other ones. A full on Yandere lol. Kaide X Maki would be too hot. I've been reading Kaide X Maki fix. All right, the gym, I believe, is this way. You turn... I lied. The gym is actually... You turn... You turn this... Uh, um, uh, you, you... You go actually over here. And then... And then... And then... And then over here, you, you make a turn over here. Then you make another turn. Make another turn. And then you go through here. And you go here. Wait, is Kaide actually an option? Oh, uh, I waited till after Maki was outed as the ultimate assassin to read fix. But the only ones I read are the um the ones that are uh, like AUs, not like I, I look for the tags that say like not despair. Wait, I can't get her now? Wait, when can I get her then? Kaide is an actual option. Wait, wait, actually? Um, you guys, do I need to go back to, like, are we just gonna do save files today? Am, am I not gonna play the game? Am I, am I just not gonna play the game? Oh, is it only, it, it might, okay, it might only be post, okay. Okay. Okay, if it's post game, we have time. Nanko's always in that little rainbow glare. It was the same way uh when we had when we went to the library after Rantaro's class trial. All clean. Nothing like nothing ever happened. Wait, did they mean Ryoma? 
Man, I'm tired as frick. Was I was up all night fixing that computer. Wait, don't they mean Ryoma? Wait, I'm so confused because then they showed Ryoma. Oh. oh, you took a look at the computer on the fourth floor. What did you think? Ah. Yeah, I only just started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but. Why did she? Why did she? Why did she moan? Why? Why? Why did she moan? Are you jealous? Please stop. Of course not. I would never be jealous of a computer. Ebo. But a robot jealous of a computer? It seems just plain possible. Oh. Hey guys, am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. But maybe everyone would prefer that. I hate you, Kokichi. Maybe everyone would prefer this. Uh, prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. That's Better cut it out. No, no. He is right. Murder and death have no place in the peaceful academy life. Hmm. It's just like yeah. Angie said. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? Everyone. It's serious. How? Oh no, the colossal insect on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No. Not that. Going to went to courtyard before coming here and. And what? Aw. Come on, what is it? Why'd you call us here out all of a sudden? Eh? We're the ones who called them out. Did you forget that too? For now. Let's worry about Monotaro later and present the motive now. <gasps> I knew it. So it is a motive after all. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the motive is. We will not do the killing game anymore. That's right. We aren't afraid of anything anymore. Indeed. Because we have a two of What? Actually. But it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before. If you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. Now for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. Guys, how Oh my god. We'll we'll present present it together. Together. This time. The motive is a transfer student. What? Yep, a new student is what? transferring. And not just any transfer student. Wait, wait, what? You get to resurrect <gasps> the four people who what? died so far. Kaide, Kaide, I pick Kaide, 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 please, Kaide. And welcome them back to the academy Kaide. as a transfer Kaide. student. Kaide, Kaide, well? Kaide, give me Kaide. Kaide, give me Kaide right now. A uh, transfer student? Are you serious? We can resurrect Kaide, please. So the instructions for the resurrection ritual are written on the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. That's right. But only one of the four who have died so far can become the tra Kaide. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically you can kill him again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. So this motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Hey. Monodam, let's forgive Monotaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know? Monofanny, you're nice. But there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have to punish you, Monotaro. Oh no. Wait, is Kaide coming back? Is Kaide coming back, please? Please, I my hopes are up right now and I'm scared. Please, no, not Mono Fanny. I'm always mocking her, but uh, when she's not looking, I don't want to be punished by her. So long, farewell. Do we get to pick who we resurrect? Or is it like chosen in game? I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But what I heard just now, or what I heard was the most absurd thing so far. 
Incomprehensible. Transfer student. Resurrecting the dead. Don't Kaide. Don't say such a stupid thing. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It it can't just happen. Jeez, who the frick would believe that load of unscientific bullshit? Listen. Disbelief due to a lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. Oh, thank you for stretch. You guys hear me cracking my knuckles? Ugh, and thank you for Hydra. Ugh. It's Kaide, right? It has to be Kaide. See? They are similar, yes? The act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual. Th through rumors and legends, that ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual. Come on, Kaide. 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 Kaide, please. She's the only one I want. She's, she's the only one I want. She's the only one I care for. So? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all this stuff, huh, Kyo? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Hmm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe these souls can be resurrected? Uh... That seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just go on forever. Okay. If not even Keo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right. And if this idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it either. You think? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> this kooky bitch is finally talking. But too bad, no one's interested in your bullshit cult. No. Wait, let's hear what Angie has to say. Right. Yeah, Angie's free to speak. Yeah. Can I say it? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna say it. Cause that's what Atua desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. Um, can I bring Kaide back? Oh, okay, first of all, I wanna change the theme. How do I change the theme? Is it in dress up mode? No. Where's my love theme? Oh uh, yeah, it's pink now. Okay. We'll talk, I guess, the Maki first. This is stupid. This resurrection ritual sounds stupid. I got dragged here for this. I should have ignored you guys after all. Oh, thanks, thanks, babes. Maybe. Okay. Mm. Gonta would be out. Okay. Blah blah blah. Whatever, Gonta. I was trying to click, uh, Mew. Why? Who am I supposed to talk to, Angie? Uh, um, Do you believe you can revive the dead, uh, Angie? Uh, I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. Probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? Because... You know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like there was never a dead body to begin with. So maybe the truth is they were never dead to begin with. They weren't dead. No. That's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But but it might have been a very accurate intimidation imitation. No. I see. Motokuma and the exosols are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. So it may be possible for them to create extre extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, then I'm starting to plainly agree. Mm. I've always supported Angie. Yeah. Wait! No, wait a minute! I saw them with my own eyes! Degenerate male. Don't raise your voice to Angie, you degenerate! Why? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Shuichi? You don't want the dead to be alive? It's true, but... Uh, I do. I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now, I think that. But no matter how much we want that... But... If everyone's alive, that means they're somehow in school... Somewhere in school, right? So maybe one of them write message in courtyard. The message in the courtyard? 
Oh yeah, the message in the courtyard. Uh, um, no. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On the way here, going to go see writing in courtyard. Hey. And it have more writing on it. The the whore. The wars. Emma. Uh, the. Huh. Um. Want to know understand what writing mean, but maybe. Right. But maybe it message from dead. And maybe everyone leave message for us that say, hey, we alive. Oh, Gonta. Huh? A message from everyone who died. Because mm. no one here write it, did they? So someone else must have write it. Rest in peace. So you're saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? In other words, it's a message from the dead? No. Wait, a message from the dead? What the actual frick? How divine! Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked up the necro the necronomicon from the floor. Say. Angie, whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, yes? No. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore, rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who've died are actually alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for a certain uh -oh. this time. Hmm, it would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you! You're so smart for telling us. Gonta, you're a savior to those four people. Huh? Angie approached Gonta with her usual wide smile and... Aww! <laughs> Bro, she's converting him. She's converting him. Yeah. You work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. The way I would crumble. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? I know this because Atua is always watching you. Dude, the way, the way I would, I would join the cult. Always watching, Gonta. Don't worry. You guys, one and chat if you would join her alone, cult. Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. Grandmas are nice. Huh? Gentle grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. No. Angie's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa. That's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh. Oh yeah, why don't you join our school, our student council, Gonta? You're right. Yeah, it'd be really reassuring if you were part of the student council. Mm. You would use your power for the peace of the academy. Yeah. See how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join. Really? Got it. Gonta joined student council too. Wait. Before all of that, what exactly is this student council? Is that why you've been acting weird? Yes. Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing game. You're right. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Sumugi. Yes! We arrived to a conclusion. Uh. This is the ultimate Academy Student Council. Okay. Angie Yonaga as our president. Can we just appreciate how cute Sumugi looks here? Ultimate Academy Student Council? We've I think Sumugi looks really cute here. Of president Angie. Leadership of President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. She's been a cult leader, bro. The council promises a killing game free ultimate academy. I thought uh Kokichi was supposed to be the ultimate supreme leader. I think that's I think that's Angie. Huh? Student council and Angie is the president? Yes. There can be no harmony between us if we keep saying different things. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's called the student council, but all the decision ma making is done by Atua. <laughs> Since Angie can speak with Atua, she's the only one worthy of leading the council. That's right. Yeah. I'm gonna follow Angie too. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Atua is happy too. 
Jeez, they've been totally brainwashed. Angie has spread her influence before we've even realized. Damn. However, it makes sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of death cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. I see. So she's using the situation to take over the school and make us dependent on Atua. Please, wait! Using is a rude way to describe it. The president wants peace for this school, and we all agreed with her noble wisdom. Right. Yeah, going to not let anyone talk bad about student council. You? you literally just freaking joined them, you brainwashed idiot. Right. I'm surprised Tenko decided, decided to join the student council. Huh? That's correct. Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Mm. Who cares about that? I finally realized how great a tool is. So? That's right, that's right. Now, what were we talking about again? Yep, yep. Oh, that resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atua makes the decision. Wait! Hmm. That's a relief. If Atua's decision, then def then it's definitely the right one. Yeah. And there's no way Atua would be wrong. Yep, yep. Atua is always right. Wait a minute. Are you guys serious? The resurrection uh, ritual is clearly a trap. <laughs> It'll be fine, as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. I doubt they listen to anything we have to say. It's true, they're probably not going to listen. But you can at least help too, uh, Kaito. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it that at that and went our separate ways. Transfer students, reviving the dead, Atua, student council. So many heavy conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't sit here and complain. There has to be something I can do. Um, I have a question. How far am I from the first uh, from the next death? Also, I think I already know who dies because I saw a spoiler. But um how far am I to the next death? Two or three nights. Like, I'm 75% of the way there. You think Maki will let me talk to her? Where is she, anyway? Oh, she's in her lab. We're very far away. Okay, wait, I'm getting conflicting answers. 30, 45 minutes, because like I'll I'll continue streaming till we see the body. But if we're like two hours away from seeing the body, like I'll end it now. We spent the entire I know we were gambling the entire time. That's why I wanted to know. An hour and a half ish? I think that's gonna be such conflicting answers. It isn't two hours, but it also isn't really close. Yeah, no, no, not the end of the chapter. How, how close are we to the death? Because I usually stop at the death. Huh? No. Can we hang out? <gasps> okay. <gasps> huh? What are you trying to pull? What's with that reaction? You're the one who invited me. I'm sorry. I was just surprised. I thought you'd honestly reject me. You don't know? All this time, I assumed I was just going to train with two idiots, you and Kaito. I thought it'd be faster to give in to Kaito's demands. Not sure how I what feel about mean? that. Even after hearing that, do you still want to hang out with me? Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Fine, I'll hang out with you, but I think you'll end up wasting your time on me. At least an hour. If it's an hour, I can handle that. I just don't want to. I don't want to sleep at two. I want to sleep at one. I always have to speed run a little bit. Monkey and I grew a little closer today. What is she like again? Um, I don't think I have anything she likes, if I'm being honest. 
He doesn't like the beret, right? Um, she likes this, but I don't have an I don't have one. Um. Cosmic blanket. Monkey paw? No, I've just I've just I have to search up a guide one second. Uh Maki gift guide. What she Space egg. 91. Do I have a space egg? No, I do not. Home planet, I also do not like. She likes the key of love. We already we use that. Okay, she likes oolong tea. We'll give her that. Never mind. She likes boba tea. We give her this. Every girl likes boba tea. Hmm. Um. Hey, Maki. You're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said that several times. Detectives really are more skeptical than necessary. Well. Well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering, how did you do your work? I never heard of assassins working together, but I, uh, she couldn't be working alone. <sighs> Wouldn't assassination organizations disband after they become known? You're right. So what? If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Aki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No. Oh, yeah. Of course, a normal person would have no idea, uh, affiliations to any cults. Hmm. A cult? What does that have to do with your assassinations? I see. That's the assassination organization huh? I belong to. You're a detective. <laughs> You're pretty slow. It's a new cult. From behind the scenes, it trains assassins. But, sure, whatever. It's real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all staff are part of it. The clients ask for a consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter. They're uh, they're there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. Hmm. Can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country. Hmm. Well, it's fine. They're a disguise, so things aren't pu revealed to the public. Hey, when you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Wow. Well, being shady like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. But they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. It sounds like as if she was just just accepting the way things were. And I assume you're a devotee in this That's cult? Wrong. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but... Wait, can't you figure out figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? Well, there are several assassins besides me, but no one is devout. We don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's You don't share that kind of information with each that's other? Obvious. When the time comes, assassins will cut and will be cut and disposed of. Her tone hadn't changed. She just accepted it. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? Aww. Hey! Wait a second. She should have had two hope fragments filled when I filled them up with, with Kaide. Where did they go? Where did they go? She should have had two filled already. I am offended. You're not Kaide anymore? I feel like I should still have them. We're gonna go talk to Maki again. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Maki! 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 Hey! Hey, girly pop! Stop it. People s stop it. <laughs> if people see you talking to me, they'll mistake you as a friend of an assassin. We are friends. You. You're still fine with that? If you're putting up a front, then you'll get hurt later. I love you. 
I spent some time with Maki. Yeah, we'll give her more boba. The best way to a woman's heart is bubble tea. Got a minute? Okay. Hey! I noticed all those weapons in your lab. Do you know how to use them all? Uh-oh. Did I upset her again? Sorry. Did I ask something wrong? So what? Not really. I just think it's strange that you keep asking me irrelevant questions. Depending on the situation, my weapons change, but I know how to use them all. Hmm. Ah, is that right? I imagine stealthy weapons when I think of assassins. That's true. We all, we use those too, but mostly we have knives, also poison, sniper rifles, jujitsu, bombs. Huh? Bombs? For an assassination? Okay. A warning kill has to be flashy. I've turned a five-story building into a four-story one before. You can control an explosive to destroy just one floor? How frightening. No wonder she's the ultimate assassin. So what? It's rare to be that flashy, though. Normally, disposing one target is enough. Hey! So what kind of people have you assassinated? What are you talking about? Uh, well, um... I only know about assassinations from movies and stuff. I see. It'll probably disappoint you, but I don't only kill bad people. Because I kill anyone on my orders list. It doesn't matter who the person is. Hmm. I suppose that's just the I way see. it is. But I've also had to dispose of people who I knew well. Huh? Okay. Friends from school. Huh? Friends? Why would you have to do that? Well, a daughter of a yakuza leader. She was a child of a mistress with no ties to the gang. Her father loved her very much, which is why she was seen as dangerous. Yakuza's elites decided to have her removed in case rival groups used her. Wait! But she didn't do anything wrong! Okay. But I did as ordered. Is there a right choice here? Um. I'm gonna go with this one. Um. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't have time to remember every face I killed. No. Nope. But I actually do remember her. Is this? No, it's nothing. Well. You may think it's unreasonable to kill someone on the account of other people, but everyone does what they can to live. You, me, and everyone I've murdered. I kill, but I can also be killed. That's all. The cold and indifferent Maki had been overwhelmed by words. I'd never seen that happen before. I couldn't think of anything else to say. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Ding dong, ding bong. Who are they going to bring back to life? I hope it's Kaide. Monotaro's out cold from being punched by Monodam as punishment. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. While Monodam and I are on brink, we'll leave the rest to daddy. Oh, uh, that's creepy. The announcement didn't mention it, but it's supposed to be nighttime. Time to train, but is Kaito okay? Oh, oh god. The doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing just fine. With the doorbell still ringing, I made my way to, to the door and opened it to find... <gasps> Maki! Huh? Maki? <sighs> Kaito's resting. He says he's not feeling well and that we should train without him. Huh? Just the two of us? Jeez. Pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys and flake out. But... He did say he wasn't feeling well. <sighs> Why are you making excuses for him? You're right. Uh, no, I guess you're right. Hey. hey. Let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. We're really just gonna do this? Training? Just the two of us? She's surprisingly earnest. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Hey. <laughs> what is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. He's so cute. Probably not. But overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Aw, that's kind of cute. I think that's kind of sweet. 
it just fades. You know? It just it just fades. Do you look up to that idiot? Uh I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk that way. <laughs> Damn. Maki sprang up and said, Hey. Maki seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast, as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. A hundred push-ups is nothing. Huh? <sighs> About Kaito, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't ask to become this way. It just happened to me. After what I've been through, am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because. But I had no choice but to. This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help me. But. I'm kind of the same way. Well. I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought I wasn't it wasn't too great of a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money? It's the worst. Okay. But now I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. If it's Kaide or Kaito that have helped me and it's Kaide Kaide. It's Kaide and Kaito that have helped me see things that way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. Well, girly pop, you were trauma dumping first. Maki's face remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maki. Maki. She didn't reply and kept walking. All right. I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seemed off this morning. I hope that it's nothing serious. Oh, she's still here. Welcome back, Maki. You're finally came. This is terrifying. Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at night time. Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... But Kirumi's crime happened during night time, right? But... If no one was allowed to walk around at night time, that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activities. Well... Limit. So basically, you want to take our freedom away. Is that it? My, my. You're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Uh... Uh, we need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. Atua! Yeah, Kaede planned her whole murder during the daytime. Exactly. How do you People are afraid of you, Maki, so we'd prefer if you were more careful. Mm. It's for the peace of the Academy. Oh, Maki. He doesn't deserve this. Oh, what is the point of human life? They're born as useless babies who can't do anything. And 70 years later, they're useless old people who can't do anything. Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, unable to care of themselves. In the end, it's all so meaningless. Damn. It's a little, it's a little harsh, bro. So that's the morning announcement. It looks a little creepy. I don't like yeah. this at all. Alright, dining hall time. 
Let's go to the dining hall. Dining hall. Let's go. Sorry, I hate him. Hey, Maki. Maki. <laughs> what did you say, Maki? Like, Maki. Hey. Huh? What do you mean? Nope. If you don't know, then don't worry about no. it. Well, if you say it like that, it makes me worry. Well... I got stopped by the student council while I was going back to my room last night. They told me I can't walk around during nighttime anymore. Huh? Why? It's not breaking the rules. Okay. They said it's because Kirumi committed her crime during nighttime. <sighs> and then Angie gave her usual Atua says speech. Well, We shouldn't ignore Angie. Losing our freedom may seem fine for now, but soon enough. What's the point? Well, I'm sure Angie's not interested in anything I have to say. Oh, Maki. Oh, Maki. Resurrecting the dead, probably. Okay, yeah. Maki. The new sound bit, but he's like, Maki. Hey. Is that Mew? Mew. <laughs> Why does he say their names like this? Mew. What was that? The hell's all the morning chatter about? I'm freaking tired. Oh. Did you stay up all night with the computer? <laughs> that thing's amazing. The more I research it, the more excited I get. So good. I bet it won't let me sleep tonight. At this rate, I might pull all my groin muscles. <laughs> what is she What is she doing to that computer? What what incarnation is she doing to that computer? Miu, what happened to you? Oh, everyone's here. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Don't screw around. Oh, so just do whatever you want. But I have a Tua's blessing. That's right. We have a Tua's blessings. And I'll throw any degenerate who won't shut up about it. Hmm, I know you claim to be the student council or some, some such, but this is going too far. No. As we said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. What? What? What is going on? Let's talk to Monkey first. Got a minute? Go and stop Kaito. Yelling at each other won't get anything done. Okay, thank you for telling me who to talk to. Um, What's wrong? What are you fighting about? Damn. These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Huh? Hmm. Going to put heavy rock on top of manhole so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Going to handle it this time. Um... Because? Because the manhole's a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen like what happened to Kaide. Listen up! You said it, Angie. We need to forget about the underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around! She does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion. Certainly. It is certainly important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're right! That's why we decided to just obey the student council president. If it's Angie, she'll make the right decision. She can hear it too, after all. Ah. Man, she's a lost cause. Plain Janes like her are total rubes. Is it rubes or rubies? When it comes to cults. Thank you. Samugi, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> uh. Angie used hug. It was very effective. Thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiled on you for your plain and simple service. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Sasuke? Atua has whatever features you desire. Sasuke? Itachi? A red-eyed, black-haired god. Ah, oh, what a cool god I have watching me. When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Atua exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Oh my god. Precious! 
The two is just so cool. Hmm. Colts like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad side. But, but... Why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is... Is it because you want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving here? You, you haven't given up? Uh -huh. You haven't given up? Uh -huh. What the hell's going... What's wrong with you guys? I see. Student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. What? Tighten? Are you calling me loose? I need like a I need like a Miyu counter. We need like a counter just every time every time she says something completely out of pocket. That reminds me. You were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Miyu? What? So what if I Wait was? Away. So was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past nighttime. Hey. Suichi, you too, right? Uh, okay. Huh? Geez, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Cause Atua says so. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking at nighttime. Huh? Stop it! But what I do and where I do it is none of your freaking business. Nope. As long as everyone still wants to leave, that is not acceptable. However... Why is the student council exempt from your rules? That is blatantly unfair, yes? Uh... I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. Mm -hmm. That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? Here, we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, a Tua. Right? What else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know? <laughs> Everyone in the student council is so divine. Always messing around. No, don't be stupid. Are you telling me to just stay here and do nothing? That's enough! The hell with it. I, like hell I will. I haven't even gotten to space yet. Are you all fighting? Um, I don't think so. I think maybe they're not actually fighting. That's right. Y yeah, and if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy right now. You bastards. We want you to get even closer to each other. That's wonderful. <gasps> oh, oh, a flashback light. It's part of our use the flashback light to restore a new memory. And become even better friends by talking about it with each other plan. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Alright, let me see that. Okay, what's our new flashback? <gasps> she threw it on the ground and stomped on it relentlessly. <laughs> the student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. What? What? Why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. But we don't need those memories anymore. Yeah, Angie's getting a little out of control. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. Oh no, if you don't use the flashback light, our plan is a bust. What are we gonna do, Monodam? Aww. Ah. Hey, he ran away. Monodam, wait! So long, farewell. <laughs> No, I don't think she's possessed by Monokuma. I, I think she is just a cult leader. And I think she's been like this the entire time, but now she has followers, which makes her more powerful, you know? Um, Monokuma's upset because the bears are revolting. That's why he's not talking. He's having a midlife crisis right now. Wait! Angie, what are you doing? Oh, dear. We could have remembered something about the funeral or the ultimate hunt. That's not right! There's no reason to remember all of that. We're not returning to the outside world. Right. Yeah, it pointless now. Always messing around. You've gone way too far. Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far. Sorry. But you should take that up with Atua. Oh man. Geez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So do you have a plan for you know what? Ah. 
Oh, you mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? I knew it. But what are you planning? Because. Just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. Huh? Uh. When we get another time limit motive, like the one that. Uh, what if we get another time limit motive, like the one that Rentaro got killed? Oh, yeah. Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Uh, um. You mean, if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected? What is it? You're going to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> you have some cruel plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. Uh... Life cannot always be fun and smiles. Atua must make difficult, even cruel decisions. But, but... We must submit to Atua's will if, we, if we're to live a peaceful school life. Yes. Atua will be... It, will is absolute. Yeah. If Atua says so, then there's nothing we can do about it. It's just like Atua says. Wh what? Are you serious about this? Did you forget that thing's a motive for the killing game? Kaito, what's going on with you? You're looking worse and worse. Yep, yep. That motive is of no concern to us as long as you cast aside your desire to escape. Oh, no. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What? What kind of stupid question is that? Uh... After discussing the matter with Atua, the transfer student we will revive is... Cause Atua says so. No. No. No! No, no, she needs to go. She needs to go. She chose the wrong person. We need to bring back Kaide. Yeah, literally who? Who? He's the ultimate whoever, who even cares? Like, we. Mina's Angie hating Ark begin. <laughs> At least, no! The only, there's only one right answer, and the right answer is Kaide. Literally, the only right answer is Kaide. No, listen, we bring back Kaide, then we kill Angie. Because, because Kaide, Kaide. <laughs> He's the ultimate not kind of. <laughs> huh? Because we simply cannot resurrect convicted murderers such as Kaide and Ku. Yes, we can. Listen, listen. I'm gonna just say this. Kaide did not murder Rantaro. And do you want to know why I I'm saying this? All she did was roll a ball down a vent. Whatever happened after that is she is absolved. All she did was roll a ball. The consequences of that is not her fault. Kaide did nothing wrong. Like, like, Kirumi actually, like, you know, like, drowned and, like, and, like, choked out, uh, freaking, uh, the Ryoma. But all, all Kaide did, all Kaide did was roll a ball. She played ski ball. All she did was play ski ball. You can't fault her for playing ski ball. Listen, Kaide has plot armor in my heart. Yeah, she just had an environmental kill, exactly. <laughs> Nor are criminals like Ryoma who violated the rule against sharing one's motive video, which leaves Rantaro as the one who'd be of use to the student council. True, Rantaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. Going to bring him back? Oh, Kaide! Oh, oh I miss you! Oh, Kaide! Kaide, I miss you. Who, who's, who's this? Who's this nobody on my screen? Kaide. Kaide. Cover him. We don't care about him right now. Kaide. Oh my God, I missed you so much. I missed you so much, Kaide. It's it's been so long. Let me caress your face. Oh, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you, Queen. Let me. I miss you so much. I missed you so much. Please come back to us. Come back to us. I miss her. I miss her so much. So much. She's my ultimate, ultimate protagonist. Bring her back. I think by most laws, Kaide would be guilty of manslaughter, but not murder, since it was accidental and there was no intent to kill. I think Kaide would be completely absolved because she was playing skee-ball. And Rantaro's head was in the way. 
So honestly, he should be convicted for his own murder for being a dumbass and standing where he shouldn't have been standing. <laughs> Kaede did not kill him. I just went over the reasons why she didn't kill him, okay? Like, imagine you, you got taken out by like a ball. Oh, dear. oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going Play now. Time. I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for the ritual. Bye, Anara. Stop with the copium emotes. Angie, with Angie leading them, the student council strolled out, strolled out of the room. What is it? He acts like she's carrying out it to his will, but this is her will, isn't it? However, even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening, indeed. Hey! This is an all-out war against the student council. Six versus six. We can win this. <laughs> also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice and quick. No. I see. Sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way. What about you, Kaito? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. Why does he huh? seem so sick? What's going on with Kaito? Oof. Someone was zoning out. Why does he, like, look sick? Kaito, something doesn't seem right. What's going on with him? Um, Kaito, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Hmm? Uh, nothing. I just feel a chill is all. If I rub some spit on it, it'll feel better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? <clears throat> anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. There's no way. It's just not possible. Uh, Damn it, no. I can't stop these chills. My bad. I'm gonna go back to my room. You see the ultimate zombie? Like, what's going on? Kaito left on unsteady feet back to his room. What is it? What was that about? Is he getting sick? Hmm. We're just talking about all the occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. Hmm. Seem to be enjoying this. The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. Free time! The goal is the same as Kaide's. Get it out of here with everyone. Okay, do I have any mono coins? We're gonna go use them. Um. Oh, she's in the library. Uh, where's the... So the school store. Let me, let me go use my mono coins. We just need Maki's favorite thing. Well, it's gonna be a minute, you guys. Oh, does Ryoma like those? Okay, Maki likes oolong tea. I could use a home thingy. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, we need the Maki light cone. Ketchup? I don't like ketchup. Do you guys like ketchup? Have you seen anyone else smoke in the game? That's fair. Can we stop getting marigold seeds? Cosmic blanket. Okay, can I get the, the home planet? Or the home plant, whatever it's called. 
You don't hate it, but there's a lot of foods where I just prefer it without. Like, fries is better without ketchup. Same. I like... Okay, my condiment... Like, my preferred condiment is honey mustard. But, like, I don't think I'll ever, like, willingly put ketchup on anything. Like, we, we recently just had, like, a, a barbecue at my house. And, like, there was hot dogs. But I just like my hot dogs with mustard. Like, plain mustard. Like, yellow mustard. Salsa and hot sauce is better than... I love salsa. Grilled cheese? You don't put condiments on grilled cheese. Raven, thank you so much for the tier one for two freaking months, gamer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't like mustard? I, you might not like the vinegary taste of it. I like really... I, I like really tart things. I love spicy mayo. Oh my god, we've gotten marigold seeds so many times. QP does go hard. Can we get the home planet, please? Like, we've already gotten it, so like it should be a repeat. Stop giving me marigold seeds. Who even likes marigold seeds? The work chair of doom? Another one. <gasps> yes, we got one. Okay, nice. Now can we get two more? If we get two more, like we're set. Greek yogurt. Home planet. Perfect laser gun. There really does need to be a ten pull. to put in multiple coins at the same time yeah you can but it just re reduces your repeat odds it doesn't actually like give you more things it's just less likely to get a repeat so if you're looking for something new it's better i just personally um i i already got what i need so i'm just Hoping I get it. Oh, hey, we got two new things in a row, though. That's pretty poggers. We just need the home planet, bro. How many work here's of doom are we gonna get? Come on. Bro, how many work cares of doom? How many? Hot lucky chance. Smoogie likes that. Smoogie likes that. Smoogie likes that. Milk puzzle? What the heck is a milk puzzle? Bear ears? That's cute. Earnest compass? I think it's very high that I'll run out of rolls before I get two more home planets. That one suit an ID. Hello, of admiration. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Bro, come on. Just give me what I want. Bro, these rates are worse than Genshin. There's no pity system. Stop giving me work chairs of doom. I'm in a work chair of doom. Time to hack the game. I know, right? Come on. Oh my god, I want shaved ice. Guys, I really want the ninja creamy. It's sold out everywhere. It like makes ice cream. Like you can put chocolate milk and then it'll make ice cream out of your chocolate milk. And that's basically like like a frosty. I want one so badly. Flower of Floor Man City. Bro, am I not gonna get another home planet? Are you kidding me? A dark bell is probably for Tenko. Bro, just give me the, the whole planet. Just give me the whole planet, bro. Why is it so hard for you? Why is it so hard for to give me it? Come on. Come on, just give me a whole planet. Oh, 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 pattern music, she, oh, 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 my heart, oh, pattern music, she, oh, I don't, I don't deserve that. Who takes the hand knit sweater? Pattern like our hearts. Oh wait, this game won't give me freaking... Just give me a whole planet! Where's the whole planet, bro? Come on! Stop with the Greek yogurt! The whole planet! Does Maki like the bunny apples? I don't think so. Bruh. God, Gamba's nothing but pain and suffering. Literally, just give me two more. Just two more. Come on, I just need two more. Stop giving me maple fudge. Stop giving me the chair of doom. Just give me freaking the, 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 the home planet. I have enough stuff for Ma not for Maki, for Kaito. I have enough for, for Sumugi. I probably have enough for Miyu. But I did not give me anything for Maki. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, man. We used over a hundred. Ain't no freaking way. Bruh. Ain't no way. Ooh, jelly balls. Rock hard ice cream. Commemorative metal set. That looks like Pokemon mag badges. We got two new items in a row. That's like a like a one percent chance. It's kind of crazy. No, no home planet. No home planet. None? No home planet? Okay. Fine. It's fine. All my luck went to slots, literally though. We got one home planet. Dun, 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 dun. 
No way you can resurrect That's the dead. True. And Taro definitely died. Kaede and Kirumi died right in front of our eyes. So what? I don't feel like doing anything in particular, so I'll let you decide. Take her to the casino. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, we'll give her a space planet. Should we give her Miyu's underwear? Should we give her Kaide's notepad, her hairpin? And sob? Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. This is for me? Hmm. What is it? Huh? Do I look mad? I don't show it, but I'm actually pretty happy. Hmm. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. She's all like pouty and shit. Love her. That's right. It's better that you didn't know. There's also no need for you to know. But gathering children from orphanages. I couldn't believe it. Hmm. You want me uh you want me to surprise you even more? Huh? Well Orphanages I, the orphanage I was raised at was run for that reason. Uh, um Okay. To raise potential candidates as assist as assassins. You don't know? The cult donates to the orphanage as charity. That's believable, right? The amount of work I put into uh, the amount of charity given, that's how the exchange goes. Hmm. How much is Maki carrying on her shoulders? Such small shoulders. If I remember correctly. You said you were taken by a, in by a man. Did he raise what? you? Are you asking if he raised me as an assassin? No. <sighs> you don't need to be so serious. The man scouted me and put me in a training facility. That's... Remember you saying that the training was quite harsh? That's true. No matter how talented you are, a child is still a child. The basic training forces your body to go beyond its human limitations. They physically beat us to help us withstand torture and taught us how to die when needed. Because... The only option left when you fail a mission is to die, right? Dying sooner is a nicer way out. It's much better than being tortured alive. That's... So you were trained to withstand torture? What do you mean? Would you like to hear what kind of training we endured? No. I can't bear to think of what Maki had to go through. Well... After they tortured us, all I could do after was stare at the room ceiling. And they tried to break me during training, but I was still there. They tried to drag my dignity and tear it to make me feel empty. But even then, I found myself. And then, they would do it all over again. <sighs> it wouldn't have been as strange if I broke during all the torture. But even so, I tried my best. I wouldn't have accepted the job in the first place if I knew I couldn't do it. But more, most importantly, if I broke, then that girl would replace me. Huh? Who's that girl? Who's that girl? Pretend you didn't hear of any of that just now. But Who is that girl? Shut up. Okay. Who is that girl? Do we get more free time? Yeah, buddy. Where's Maki? Maki! Oh, she's outside. Okay, we'll just go to her. Okay! Okay! Uh, Maki, where are you? Where are you? And oh, I'm so sorry, Maki. Maki. Okay, she's not here. But we run so fast. We're Naruto running here. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster. Uh. Wait, this way then? Maki! Where is she? Maki? Room, room. I'm in my mom's car. 
Oh. Hey. Wow. Um, you were kind of close to where I was originally, huh? Hey. Is Kaito alright? He complains about others, but he can't even take care of himself. Irresponsible idiot. Can I hang out with Maki for a while? Heck yeah, we should. Is that so? I was gonna go on a walk. You can tag along if you want. Oh, she's so cute. I spent some time strolling with Maki in the courtyard. Heck yeah, we always give her presents. Does like giving them presents actually do anything? We'll give her boba. Like, does it a minute. does it actually do anything? Hey, you look like you wanted to ask something. Huh? Well, whatever. I told you to pretend like you didn't hear anything. But I can take back what I said. Hey. You're wondering who that girl is, right? She's a close friend from the orphanage. Hmm. What is it? Why do you look so relieved? Hmm. Weirdo. Yeah, you do. It's gross. Uh, um... I'm just glad that you have a friend in your life. Hmm. I see. That's why you're making that gross face. Back at the orphanage, I was a normal kid. She angry about something? Sorry. So what? Um. Then what did you mean when you said she would take your place? I see. The scouts had her had their eyes on her first, not me. Huh? Because I had enough talent, but she had even more talent. She was very kind, a crybaby who easily got lonely but tried to be strong. If she had been taken to a place, then she would have lived her life crying forever. That's why I volunteered to go. Oh my gosh, she volunteered as tribute. At the time, I had no idea what was in store for me as an assassin. But I endured the training. If she had gone through this, she would have died. That's why I was so desperate to do my best. She wasn't doing it for the orphanage. It was for her friend as well. Okay. Being with her was really fun. We would wear matching outfits, bake sweets and exchange them. We would get in trouble with our teacher because we would talk late into the night. We played house often with the other kids at the orphanage. She would play as the mom and I would play as the... <gasps> Wait! Is that who she was protect? Wait. 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 In... No, 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 you guys. In the, in the love key sequence. Is this the friend she was talking about? Wait. Whoa, 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 there. Wait a second. It has to be, because she said, like, because we were playing house. Wait. This this has to be the friend that she was talking about in the sequence. It has to be. Well, neither of us knew our parents, so the only thing we could do was imagine it. That means a friend said it? Yeah. Maki has three love sequences with a little change of dialogue. Oh, do they all change? That's surprisingly cute. That's... What is it? Don't say things like cute. That kind of thing doesn't exist in my heart. No. No, I really think so. I'm sure you would make a good dad. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was talking about with her friend when she said the sequence uh, during the sequence and Maki Gage confirmed. That's why that's why she talked to Kaide in the beginning and she took like literally like three chapters to talk to Shuichi. Just saying. Hashtag confirmed. Stop imagining whatever it is you're thinking. They're so cute. It's not really important. Yes, it is. God, I love Maki. Maki's like the best like girl emotionally, but Miyu's like the funniest girl. Bing dong, bing bong, bing bong, bing dong. Like he's still going through it. Anyway, I suppose it's nighttime. Angie established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder what'll happen That's to training. 
I should go see what Kaito has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Um, but, 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 where's Kaito's room? Kaito's room. Kaito. Up there. Hmm. Right as I was about to ring the bell. The door op uh the door to Kaito's room opened out and out came <gasps> Maki Oh Oh Is she mad? Oh. Uh, okay. Hey bro, perfect timing. I'd apologize to you too. Well He told me he was gonna skip today's training too. I knew it. But he still doesn't feel well. My bad. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaito. Do what you have to do. Nah. We'd have to reschedule our training session either way, come to think of it. The student council's being, uh, be said being out after nighttime's prohibited, huh? right? I told you. You're feeling sick. That's one thing. But I don't want you to change this training schedule. You don't need to do that. Sweetheart, hello, thank you so much for the tier one. 15 months gamer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you? I see. Really, but no. Nope. I don't want to skip it. So it'll just be the two of us training today. Huh? Oh, she's so cute. What do you mean? I don't know if he's been poisoned. I I don't know. I feel like it's something to do with the resurrection stuff. Like maybe Kaito's supposed to be dead and he's rotting or something. You don't want to? Uh, no, uh, that's a little, babes, that's a little, that's a little bit of a, that's a bit of a stretch. You know, I said, hey, do you, are you sure you want to work out? Do you want to die? Huh? Sorry. That's just an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. I didn't know such a habit existed. I hope you're enjoying, the, liking the story. I am! It's so fascinating. Well. Anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront it. Okay. So, if I have to train alone, so be it. No, I'll go with you. No, I go with you. Uh, um... Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this is really unlike you, Kaito. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. Dude, he looks not good. My bad. Sorry, Suichi. But can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling better? Okay. Bro, Kaito's gonna die. Hey, Maki, about Kaito, you shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not... Um... My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her has completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of fire and ice. Uh, um... But her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. <sighs> Ooh, such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out from just that glare. Huh? I... You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Well... I'm not here to fight you, and I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. Huh? That's right! I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor. A personal favor. Uh, um... A favor? From us? Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. Um... Yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. But... Kenko simp-like behavior strike again. Hey. Kenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in a two no. I, never, I could never believe in Angie's God. Huh? Listen up. I only believe in Aikido. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Aikido values mental fortitude, and Aikido moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Aikido, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. Then... So you just pretended to be brainwashed? Why would you do that? Hey. It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretended to be brainwashed so you could join the student council, right? Um... I think Himiko has gotten so lazy, she's given up on thinking for herself. 
That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie is dangerous. Right. Student council Angel idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That's true. That's some true shit. It became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks Atua's, uh, she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Hmm. And that's why you want me to kill her? Uh, well, a Asking a someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Uh, yes. I won't deny that. I've wanted her gone even before all of this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. But going through with it is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder, and it doesn't matter the well. reason. Do you realize who you're talking to? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I That's not what I meant. I... I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But... The student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please! That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop Angie. Huh? Uh, yes. Well, I obviously can't ask Kokichi, Miyu, or Akio, and Kaito's not feeling well, you know? That's true. You didn't have many options. Uh, okay. Please! Help me. You have to convince, An uh, convince Angie to not perform the ritual. Well. Huh? Wait, what? We didn't answer the question. Uh, we didn't answer yet. Degenerate males. Quit complaining and do that favor for me, you degenerate. I'm not even bowing to you, and I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. You. Yeah, we want Kaide, so we need to stop Angie, because she wants to bring Rantaro. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. What will you do, Shuichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. This is something I'd ignore? Who do you think I am? No. I agree with Tenko that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey, degenerate male. Then do something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive. <laughs> Sneak attack. I guess I'll forgive you though. Now let's go convince Angie together. She should be preparing for the ritual right now in the Ultimate Artist huh? Lab. Together, I'm going too. Huh. I wouldn't ask just Shuichi for help. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me. Well, I'll just go to Angie's lab. To the lab! I'm not walking there. It's on the fourth floor, man. Yeah, we're going to the other side so we don't have to pass by the creepy-ass room. Okay, we spawned in the creepy room. We spawned in the creepy room. I thought we were going to spawn right here and not next to the creepy dolls. All right. Just when I reached my hand towards the door. <gasps> Wait, I'm pretty sure that door is locked. Oh. That's right. Angie did say that she locks the room when she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway just to test it. I knew it. So it is locked. Minute. Oh? Maki pushed aside and began pounding on the door. Hey. Angie, open this door now. <gasps> Wait, Maki, you can't just do that. Stop being little old Miss Impatient. Then... And how should I do it? Um, Angie will open only open the door when a student mem council member calls for her. Tenko turned back to the door and gave it a few nervous knocks. Please! Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Oh. That worked? Yes! Bro, I'd be so offended if I was Maki. Like, you know, I wasn't good enough for you. You're, you're, you're saying I wasn't good enough for you to open the door, but you opened it for Tenko and not me? Like, bruh? Bruh? Bro, I'd be so offended. Like, actually, though. Like, dead ass. Dead ass. After Tenko answered, the door flew open. Yaha! Can I help you? Huh? Why are Shuichi and Maki uh, here? Um... Oh! I get it. You both want to join the student council. They don't need to get acquainted with Atua. I will introduce you to him. So divine! No. Well... Let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab, but... We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. Oh! 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 
帰れ帰れ Those have to be statues. Kaide and Rantaro, Hirumi, Ryoma? I made them. Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? Huh? You made them? Uh, yep. Yep. They're my very own handcrafted wax、uh, effigies. Huh? Bro, can、What? I take the Kaide one with me? What's that lady's wax museum in, Holly in, in, in New York, in Hollywood? Like, she has a bunch of wax museums. And they should hire her. Is it like Madame Something's like, like wax museum? Madame Swats. Two, two salts? Yeah, two salts or something like that. Why? For the resurrection ritual, of course. According to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy to the, of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on! I went ahead and made these.、Uh... Simple dolls probably would have been better, but once I got to work, Atua took possession of me. <laughs> and before I knew it, I made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? You. You do such cruel things so innocently.、Huh? But. Incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, just like the real thing, but. Hi, Day. Oh, 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 I'm gonna cry. It looks exactly like Kai Day. The face and body. It looks like the real thing. But actually. Okay, we don't care about anyone else. Hey! Angie, could you please reconsider?、Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do.、Uh, um... I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember th th、uh, that this is what Monokuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good.、Uh... For the dead can't really come back to life, so the people who died must still be alive. No. No, Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes. I'm positive, especially after seeing the wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real body still had traces of a soul. Oh, Kaide. Kaide. Bro, Kaide. Every time I see her, I get sad. I get, I get a little bit more upset every time I see her. I just I want her back. Bring her back. She was gone too soon, bro. She was gone. Can I bring her back to me. Bring her back to me. That's true. Okay. I agree. I have no doubts that, that, their real that their deaths were real. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies.、Mm -hmm. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Woohoo! Then, if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous mystery! Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but. That's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died till now will come back. So if those four are really dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. <laughs> That must be right, because the two is never wrong.、Um, You're not gonna stop this, are you? Of course, of course. This is a two as well. This is your will, not a two as. Nope. Nah, uh, it's a two as. A two as told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. We cannot defy a direct command from Atua. Get punished.、Uh, You're probably still worried about the motive, Shuichi, but it's okay. Atua has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Then there's no point in talking、uh, anymore. Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> If you're gonna slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. <laughs> hey! Tenko, let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. Yes. After failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. Yaha! It's already nighttime, so please be careful as you head back to your room. Right, right. 
Uh-oh. It's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Uh-oh. But, but... It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you, because Atua forgives you. He's such a softy, you know? Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. Uh, yes. Huh? What's going on? Why? Why are Suichi and Maki here? They're not on the student council, and it's night time. Himiko! It'll be okay. Tenko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. <laughs> she betrayed us. <sighs> that sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then... <sighs> Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. <sighs> Stop it. You're making me blush. Cut it out already! Tenko walked towards Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Hmm? Himiko! Snap out of it! Aren't you a mage? Uh. That hurts. Let me go. Uh. Himiko, why can't you see that you've been brainwashed? If you can't even see that, then maybe you're not a real mage at all. What was that? Uh-oh. What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. Himiko! Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something. Uh, um... Tenko, let's just leave it be for now. Huh? I'm sorry. I can't believe I just yelled at you. Uh... You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you get some rest. Bye, Yonara. Sound good? Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome back our friend. Himiko didn't look Tenko in the eyes. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. Um, Tenko, are you okay? I said all those horrible things to Himiko, and I don't want to. I don't know what to do. I know she'd never hate me, but she'll still demote me from best friend to just a friend. Uh -huh. You guys were best friends? Uh, no. Well, if you round up the nearest whole number, we're basically best friends. <laughs> Sounds like you're rounding up a little too much. Well. If you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. We'll be like old married couple. Uh, we'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Well, that was a quick turnaround. Mm. You should let Suichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. How, how did I? What? How did I do that? No. Really? That's the first time I've heard it. Piece of cake! Don't worry, I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. <sighs> you bounced back rather fast. I guess I don't need to worry. Oh. Ah, you were worried? What? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? <laughs> Maki, please. <laughs> Maki, Maki, please. Huh? Don't just don't just go there initially. There's that habit again. Well, I suppose on the positive side, she's able to act more like herself around me. Well, About that ritual, have you given up on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Hmm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. Right now, um, Kaito, I think, has the most red flags. Hmm. But Maki's going to think about it, too. I didn't expect that, but I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Oh my god, E.T. In a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I always dreamed of the city. One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend a human school. But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor, because of how I would flop around on my desk, because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That's why 
I can never forgive bullying. I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. Oh, who's at my door? Is it Maki? Huh? Intercom? This early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. Maki? <gasps> Maki? Well... What's with that face? You look like you just woke up. Huh? I did just wake up. The announcement was a minute ago. You... You wake up to that? If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start getting used to this place. Uh, okay. Hey! Oh! It's fine. Let's just stop, go stop the ritual. Huh? Uh, okay. I heard from Maki Roll. Maki Roll. <laughs> it seems like Angie's gonna do the ritual. What? Maki Roll. Don't give me such a weird nickname. Uh. Oh, you brought Kaito here, Maki. Why? Is it weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. Who better than Kaito for a less than straightforward approach? But... Kaito, are you feeling okay? <laughs> well, we don't have time to be worrying about me. We gotta pu put a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting the dead crap. Okay. And then we can finally drop that topic. Or else I'm not gonna last. Not gonna last? Kaito, are you... Um... Scared? Huh? Oh my god. He's not sick. He's just scared. What? No. Uh, it's just that I remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because? Now that I think about it, I've, you've been acting strange ever since... ...we started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! D don't be stupid! There's no way! Uh, um... Uh, so I was right. Got a minute? Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to training was because you were scared? So... It it's not that I'm scared, it that's just how my body is. I'm fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories? Uh, that was a kid. Whenever I hear them, I start to feel sick. Kaito was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Damn it. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. Hmm. So that's what happened. Uh, okay. Let's hurry up and stop Angie so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. If things get any scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. Why are you looking at me like that? <sighs> Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Let's just go stop Angie already. Come on. Maki roll, hurry up! I told you. Dude, don't call me Maki roll. Um. Alright, let's go to the lab, 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 lab. Well, okay, it doesn't want me to go to the lab. Or this... Okay, well... It wants me to manually walk places, apparently. Since all my all my waypoints are, are not working. He's so annoying. Standing there. Why are they making me walk all the way there? I feel like this is offensive. I don't even know how to get up there. They're really making me walk all the way. I can't just teleport. Where's the next up? Oh. <laughs> Okay, but can we just let Angie bring back Kaide specifically? Oh, that's downstairs. I do appreciate that this place is is like not as large as Danganronpa 2 because I felt like the maps there were huge. 
Oh, we have to walk past the creepy ass area again. Oh, wrong way. Mm -hmm. I hate walking through here. I hate walking through here. It's so creepy. You guys again. Why? Kimiko, why are you here? Were you keeping watch this whole time? What a pain. I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. You. So what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Yeah. That's a ritual's Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't just let it happen. Uh, okay. That's exactly right. It's not because I'm scared or anything, okay? Sure. Whatever. But it's good that you're here. She won't open this door for anyone but members of the student council, and? right? So tell Angie to open it for us. Mm. That's not possible. Huh? Hmm. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must be really into her work. She won't come out. Huh? Won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? Mm. She should be inside. Both this door and the back door are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked? We just break in. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. It really is locked. But these doors only lock from the inside. Which means there's definitely someone in there. Hey. Any response? No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. Kimiko. We need to get inside right now. Mm -hmm. nah. But you know, even if we wanted to check, it's locked. We can't do... I see. I heard everything, and I, I'm just as shocked as you are by what the tabloids are reporting. What? You. Um, Why is he here? A little birdie told me that. Uh, heard me told me that now would be a good time to burst out, bust out my trick. Uh, oh yeah, he could pick locks. Uh, lock picking. Hey. During the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into our rooms by lock picking. Could you use your lock picking skills to open the lab mm -hmm. door? You want me to pick open this door, huh? Mm, let me see. Kichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. Ah. Oh, it's a cylinder lock. Now this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. Um, Please, Kokichi, open the lock. Ew. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Kimiko. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Yeah. Don't worry about that, Kokichi. Hurry up and open the door. My bad. Sorry. Himiko, I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. See? They're open, says me. Huh? <laughs> Not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know? Well. Lockpicking seems more suited for petty thieves. You got me! Ugh, the cuts deep, real, that cuts real deep, Maki. Alright. Got it. Right. Go inside. <laughs> When I touched the doorknob, I realized that my palms were sweating from fear. Fear. Why am I nervous? I turned the doorknob and pushed open the door and saw... <gasps> um... Um... Guys, this was the grimmest shake meme I saw. Um, th this was this was the grimmest shake meme that I I I saw I saw I knew Angie was dying. I didn't know Kaide was gonna be there though. I got spoiled on Twitter.com because of grimace. But I so I knew Angie was dying. I didn't know it was like this though. Yeah, all the women are dying. Why did you just stab Kaide though? That that feels a little that feels a little like that's a little that's a little rough, buddy. This is an official announcement. A body has been discovered. Everybody, please assemble at the ultimate art lab. <laughs> it was green. Ah. Monofanny's green puke is said to be an omen of bad luck and disaster.
Damn. R.I.P. Andy. Why is why why they stab Kaide though? That feels a little petty, huh? I, I don't. I feel like it's a little petty that they stab Kaide. Also, I told you that Katana was gonna be them. used. Let us pray for Angie. Oh, Kaide. That Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. Atua, please take care of Angie. It, it can't be. Why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have Atua with her? You don't know? Clearly she didn't. Weird. That's not true. Angie say Atua always by our side. We don't have time to be talking about this. Instead of talking about Atua. Right? Yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing game. Really? Well, wait, what part? This is part of the killing That's game? Right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. No way! But why would someone do such an awful thing? But... Is that really what happened? Huh? Could it be? It's possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... One of them. Uh -oh. Ew, a vomit-soaked entrance. How novel. The puke is green again, too. Pretty ominous, too. What's the deal, Monodam? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along. Don't worry. Overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. This has been the case so far. Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. Ugh, but how? Let's get started. We are all friends. Conduct a friendly investigation, then we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. Oh, look, the Monokuma file. I wanted to be the one to pass it out. Didn't you want to do it, Mona Fanny? So. By the way, I've been thinking, you guys should knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is like so lame. Living is all the rage these days. Girl, stop puking. So long. Damn, Angie's lying on the cold, hard ground. So Oh, I love it when new class, uh, new classmates of the, what's this one called? Of the dead. This is a good thing. There's no use complaining. We are better off beginning our investigation. So everyone, we all know what we have to do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the third, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Wait! Not going to, no way going to ever get used to this. Nope. Trust me, you don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. <laughs> That's nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Unfortunately. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. But still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. In the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Shuichi. All right, bro. I'm counting on you as my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. Uh, okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? Okay. We seriously don't have time to be thinking about this. No way. We're gonna die here. I'm gonna find that culprit. Seems like the culprit is really someone among us that killed Angie. Hmm. I get how you feel, Samugi, but do you have to repeat this that tired old line every time? Uh. Oh, no, that's not it. I mean, could this have been the work of the transfer student? Huh? Angie prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? So she made those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual. Could it be? Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her. Hey! What? Shut up already! Wh what? It's her fault telling scary stories out of nowhere like that. Saying messed up stuff like that. <sighs> Uh, um... Damn. Sure, sure. Sorry, Shuichi. I need to get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys. Kaito left. Still a bit wobbly. <sighs> Do a good job. That coward has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage. Jeez. 
You clearly settled right into your sidekick rule. It's okay. You don't need him to give. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit around, sit out anymore. Well, where should we start? We should check the Monokuma files first, right? right? Ultimate artist. Time of death was. Oh, we actually got time of death this time. Cause of death was a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead also has a lacertation. Hmm. What a Kuma file included the time of death this time. Hmm. Everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witness testimonies. Hi, <laughs> Gigi Beans. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Thank you. Four months, gamer. That's crazy. Thank you. The murder happened at nighttime after all. If everyone had followed the student council rules like Angie and Atua said, what good will saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council, yes? Why? A member of the student council? Th that's... All right. We should go and figure that out. Let's start investigating and solve the mystery together. It's impossible. Himiko? Ugh. I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But... Whatever. I don't care anymore. Huh? What a pain. Surviving and everything else, it's too much of a pain. What was that? Then why don't we just use your magic to revive Angie? Please stop! This is not the time for your mean-spirited taunts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say that with certainty, no? Huh? No. Well, of course resurrecting her is impossible, but I know a way we can speak with Angie. You see... We can summon her spirit with the seance, seance, Kate called caged the caged child. What are you trying to pull? You gotta be kidding me! I am serious. God, he's so creepy. This is for our investigation. Huh? Yes. I hate him, also, because he's creepy. Like I hate Kokichi because he's annoying, but like Kyo is just like, he's creepy. If we speak with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift close. Well, you know. First a resurrection ritual and now a seance? Are you messing with us? Do you understand? I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written of they are written of in literature the world over. What? In fact, I myself have participated in seances a great many times. Huh? On top of that, we have the rare chance to perform the legendary seance, the caged child. It would be foolish to not take advantage of this, yes? No. However... I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance, yes? Therefore... The possibility of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories in one head. So to prevent such a thing impossible, such a thing impossible, to prove such a thing impossible, I think it best we console Angie herself. Incomprehensible. Um, we'll take a seance to find out about the ritual. So we're gonna fight the occult with the occult. Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well do the easy solution. How exciting! Huh? Hmm. I'll help ah! too. I. If I can talk to Angie one more time. I'll do anything. A seance or whatever it takes. I'll do it. Gundam's a way better edgelord. Well, do whatever you want. Damn. Yes! So then... You have four participants. Hmm. Fine then, Keyboy can come too. You're right. Why? Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Well then... Then we need a place to perform the seance. Where shall we hmm. do it? No. In order for the caged child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark Mom. enough. That's... Oh, that's mm. creepy. Yeah. Listen up! Tell me your thoughts. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Then... The middle room. The middle room's always best for stuff like this. I see, yes. Bruh. Uh, um... Do you understand? It's for our investigation. I said as much, did I not? <laughs> we need to use all our efforts to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. Wait. 
according to Danganronpa, according to my knowledge of Danganronpa, isn't the third murder usually a double murder? Right? Because usually, yeah, because the first game, who was it again? The double murder? It, it was it was two boys. I don't remember their names. And the second one, it was Ibuki and Hyoko. And so, and they were both the third, the third murders. Yeah, yeah, Hifumi and Taka. Yeah. And right now, only Angie's dead. And that's going, that is going against preconceived notions of what happens in Danganronpa games. So. Potentially, we could get another death during the ritual. This is stupid. Are they serious about the stupid but... seance? In any case, I should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do. And now I will hit that save button. And I'm going to sleep, gamers. Metagaming. I know, I need to stop metagaming. Save the first file. I can switch to play date. Oh, well, I'm a filthy American. Well, gamers, we got to the death. It, it took a bit of time simply because we, we had some detours in the gambling ring and and dealing with with going to sexy rooms to see what would happen inside said sexy rooms. But thank you guys. So much for the absolutely amazing stream today. It was very fun. Yes, I do have a mono cub here. Let me let me just. He's my buddy. He, he's he he vibes with me. He's 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 together with me. We 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 vibes together. You know we caught a vibe. Baby, are you coming for the ride? But thank you guys so much for for the stream. I don't think we're gonna raid anyone. I don't want to sit in a chat because I'm gonna go to sleep. Um. Next stream uh, for certain is Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Be on the lookout for some videos this week coming out. Some pretty pogger ones. Um, what else? Uh, we might have a surprise stream coming up. I don't know, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, join the Discord if you're not already in it. In it. Um, what else is there? What else is there? Uh, go follow on YouTube. I think we, uh, we just hit... What did we just hit? We're, we, we hit 89k earlier today. We're so close to 90k, you guys. We're actually so close to 90k. So I think it'd be pretty poggers if you went and followed over there. Uh, it's a new YouTube content that's gonna be coming out this week as well. So that should be really fun. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure notifications are on. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so freaking much for the awesome stream. And I will see you guys on on Tuesday for certain. Maybe you'll get an extra stream depending on how I'm feeling and if I have the time. But thank you guys so freaking much. I really do appreciate you all. And I will see you. Oh, let me stretch. Oh, make sure to go to sleep if it is nighttime for your time zone. And if not, have a good day. At, oh, have a good Sunday. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you later. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye Angie. Angie's having a good night. Well, I guess she had a bad night. She had a night. <laughs> <laughs>